Most I have given them the spirit of slumber. Hey, because it's the most high, Yahweh, the heavenly father to his son, Yahweh Shah, that opens your mind to see the truth, man. You can't see it unless the Lord opens your mind to see it, man. See? Go ahead. According as it is written, Yahweh has given them the spirit of slumber. Yup, because that's why a lot of people still stumble over the MOTV. Yeah. What's so hard about it? It's a Quran. Then it goes into the Quran, the delivery system, the needle. <coughs> that's the delivery of Quran. Then you go into Grapho, which is going to have your information. The, the, driver's, the driver's license, the ID, the bank account. All right? It's not that hard to understand, man. Right? But the scriptures say all things are plain to him that have the understanding. That's why the scriptures say, well, all thy uh, uh, get wisdom, but with all thy get, get understanding, man. Because when you understand something, right, you move different, right? You teach different, right? You change your whole life and conform to it, man. You see? Okay, yeah. According as it is written, uh -huh. the Most High have given them the spirit of slumber, yeah. eyes that they should not see, yeah. And ears that they should not hear unto this day. And guess what? That was a curse, man. I right? even King David prayed that something let uh, the table, right? That was something to they uh, uh that's good. Let it be a snare unto them, man. I believe it's supposed to say it, right? Yep, yep, yep. And David said, Let their table be made a snare mm. and a trap and a stumbling block. And guess what? This curse is playing out right now, man. That's right. That's why you got a lot of false prophets that teach some false doctrine. David cursed all ass all the way back then, man. He, he said, Lord, let can you read that again? And David said, let their table be made a snare. What's the table? This knowledge, man. The knowledge of the Bible. This is because it's good bread on the table. It's wine on the table, corn, good water, right? Lamb. This is the best food you ever eat, man. But this was to the bit of your nourishment. Guess what? To a lot of you people that's been awakened into your downfall, man. That's right. You see, because remember, Yahweh Shabbat was what? It said, this sun is set up for the rise and the fall of many in Israel, man. You see? So some of you just awakened just to be destroyed, that's man. That's right. But that's just the way it is. Because the Lord don't want everybody, man. A lot of y'all got a, a blood debt to pay, man. Because y'all said what? As it's written, y'all said, let the Lord's blood be upon us and our children. Now, y'all don't remember that. But guess what? Them same spirits came back. That's why all the scoffers. Old girl walked past earlier, threw the little finger up. You see the double All right? All the spirits is back, man. All the mockers, all the skulls, they back, man. Why, man. why so many people back in this time? But this is the time of great judgment, man. All right. All right? Okay, bro. No, I'm good. And it said, and David said, let their table be made a snare, yep. and a trap, and a stumbling block, yep. and a recompense unto them. It said, a, re a recompense means a payback, man. This is a, hey, this truth, some of you Israelites that have woken up, this is a payback for your ass, man. Right. The Lord opens your ass for a second just to kill your ass, man. That's why we got to fear you all by Shemel was shot. And you see a lot of them. They can't teach, man. It's a lot of, a lot of them say spirits coming back. In the time of Paul and stuff, he had fall off then, man. He mentioned some of them, man. Yep. All these guys waking up to they Israel. Teach it contrary to the Bible. Who you learn from? You learn some depart from the faith. Who did you learn from? You watched a couple of videos and then you went out there and started teaching with your own rhetoric, man. That ain't how this thing works. Alright? A lot of you guys look for the fame in this, man. Hey, what's that? Ask the film chapter. You had uh do this thing on that rolls up and beat somebody. Somebody get that one? I think it's Acts 5. Yep. Yeah. Cause you're gonna have guys like that, man. Cause guys come in with the wrong mind state. See, this is about teaching the word and glorifying Yahweh and Yahweh Shab, man. To the to the most utmost uh 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 ten power, man. Alright? It's all about exalting Yahweh Shimia Shab, not us, man. Listen, only the Lord that day gonna be exalted. That's it. The Lord only in that day, man. We that's when we come out to result. You see, but a lot of guys, these young, these young generation, right? They see men teaching, they see the power that comes along with teaching the word, and they wanna do what? They wanna go out and live it. Thing. That's why a lot of them don't want to come under the order. They're like, nah, I'm gonna do my own thing. I'm gonna grab a couple of guys, go stand out there. But you, don't you know, if the Spirit of the Lord is not with you, them demons will whoop your ass, man. Right. This is counseling all um, the book of Acts, man. Acts, yeah. Yep. Because if the Lord is not with you, you go out there thinking you, you preaching that word, them demons are gonna whoop your ass, man. You see, we're protected by your all by Shemel Shah, man. That's right. You gotta be sanctioned and ordained.
him out here to teach, man. That's right. All right? You got that, uh, I got this uh, Acts 5 uh, and 35. And he said unto them, ye men of Israel, take heed to yourselves what ye intend to do as touching these men. Right, and it's the same thing today, man. Y'all think y'all gonna do something to the prophets? Hey, man, news flash. We at the end, all right? This ain't back in 70 AD. This ain't the old days. We at the very end, man. When you go into Bible prophecy, we in the town of the ten toes. All right, the beast system has arose again. We in Rome 2.0. But what happens is, what was in the uh, uh, prophesied in Daniel? That that rock was coming this time, man. Right. See, that's why it's important no prophecy. All right? We know we're in the beast system again, right? But this time that rock, which is how we said, he's prophesied to come knock this bitch down, man. That's right. All right, go ahead. It says for before. So y'all ain't finna do nothing to the prophets, man. This is the time that Yahweh Hashem Yahushua gonna make his name known. That's and right. his men are gonna get fame in the name they will put the shame in, man. Right. All the lands, man. Right. Go ahead. Acts 5 and 36. For before these days rose up Thaddeus, boasting himself to be somebody. And you got a lot of guys like that, man. Boasting one cat Wi-Fi. Right? These guys are gonna come up. They wanna be elders. They wanna speak against the apostles. These are men that's been proven, man. They've been doing the work for over 30, 40 plus years, man. Consistently, no breaks, man. Tell me who else been doing it like that, man. Who is still pumping the word, man. Oh, it's just facts. All right? Go ahead. It says, boasting himself to be somebody right? to whom a number of men, about 400, joined themselves, who was slain, and all as many as obeyed him were scattered and brought to naught. So guess what? Guys rise up to give them a little movement, give them a little following. Even guys that left the truth was once amongst us. Get a little following, right? Thinking they on some type of level, right? But we got examples. The scripture said things written the fourth time was written for our learning. That we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. So these things are just happening again, man. It said there's no new thing under the sun. It's no amaze to us. We're not like, damn, why are they teaching this? No, this happened before. History, what they say, history repeats itself, man. Right? You got it, bro. It says, after this rose up Judas of Galilee yep. in the days of the taxi and drew away much people after him, yep. he also perished, <laughs> and all, even as many obeyed him, were dispersed. So guess what? These guys talk smooth and charismatic, right? They got the gimmicks. People follow them. But guess what, y'all, the blind lead the blind. Both of y'all gonna fall in the ditch and be destroyed, man. You see? It's, it's about what, what the truth is, man. A lot of y'all hear the word and you just amazed by it. You don't take no notes when you watch the videos. You don't even go home and study. You don't even see what a man is saying is true. Which means y'all get zombies. That's what the apostles say, especially you at IUIC, man. A lot of y'all are zombies, man. All right? A lot of y'all are zombies, man. Hey, Nate said, you know what the MOTV is? You're going to be on the line, and then what's going to happen is, you're going to one day you're going to be teaching, then you're going to start getting money to track you from your bank account, and then that's going to try to make you see it. What the fuck is that, man? That was a bot, fucking complete madness breakdown, man. That's nowhere in the scriptures. The MOTV is a, a physical thing, man. They're going to actually put a tip in your ass, man. That you take, you can't repent from all right, you got it, bro. It says, verse 38, and now I say unto you, refrain from these men yeah. and let them alone. For if this counsel or this work be of men, it will come to naught. See, if this counsel, this work be of men, it'll come to naught. Right? But the Lord is building this house. So you can't do nothing. For, or what it say? What's that in the Psalms? Unless the Lord build the house, they, uh, what's that? Amen. What's, Amen. What's, Amen. What's, Amen. what's it? 127 and 1? Yeah. yeah. I mean, you're you not stopping. See, I brought this, we, we did a lesson yesterday, I brought this, I said the same thing, man. Just because you believe and, and try to make the attempt to persecute the messengers, then it's, it's not going away, it's prophecy. You know, you can know this all day, man. The will of the Lord will be done. He will fulfill all his pleasure, as scripture says. Man. And part of his pleasure is bringing out this fucking kingdom. It's uh, Psalms 127 and 1, yeah. a song of the breeze of Solomon. Except the Lord built the house, yeah. they labor in vain that built it. So guess what? The Lord ain't building your house. If he's not behind you, all your work is in vain, man. 
But see, the Lord already prophesied in Amos the ninth chapter. He said he will uh, restore the time of David of old, man. This the Lord doing, man. All right? We were all once in the world, but then the Lord tapped us on our brain and our mind and said, wake up, man. Follow me. You see, none of us thought we'd be out here on the corner teaching the world, uh, with a Bible in our hand, man. But now it makes perfect sense. Why? Because the Lord's opened our mind to see it, man. He's ordained us to come out here and do this, man. We can do this on our own. All right? So the Lord got to be behind your work, man. He got to be behind the building. He said man's born by the Lord. Yep. How can a man then understand his own way, man? You see? Go ahead. There's more there. Yeah, come on. Yep. It says, except the Lord keep the city, the watchman wake up, but in vain. Yep. See, the Lord ain't protecting that city, man. Guess what? All the watchmen you set up, that city ain't going to matter. Because it still will get flooded. It still will get overcome, man. It don't matter how many defense systems they put around America. This is the land of the unwalled village, man. All right? This city is going to be destroyed. There's not enough missiles that you can have with the defense system you can build that's going to protect the Lord by the duty of this bitch, man. That's right. He, it's, it's tell you Revelation 9, the Lord will put the spirit on the city with, say, two millions of missiles on this place. Woo, yep. yeah. Hey, the Lord said he's going to utterly destroy this bitch, man. He's going to overthrow the, from the root of it, man. He's going to fucking renovate this bitch. It's never going to be inhabited ever again, man. Oh. All right? Ain't no motherfucking uh, making America great again, man. Ain't no God bless America. All right? <laughs> only one thing the Lord going to bless it with is with missiles, man. Right, she should no more be called tender and delicate, man. Because he's going to touch this bitch with his missiles. All, all right? And all the wicked going to be swimming in that fire, man. Yeah. <laughs> yep. The lake of fire is going to be right here in America, man. That's right. This is going to be, the Lord going to make a clean example of what not to do, man. Right? Because he did it the old time in Solomon and Gomorrah, but I guess they must have forgot, man. Y'all forgot how I, y'all forgot who I was. Right? Y'all thought I was down with this shit. Y'all said, y'all lied on my name, swear on the Bible. The wicked took it from my covenants in his mouth. Went throughout the world and lied and said I was down with it. Well, I'm going to have to show you again. Right? You know what it is? They thought it's sweet because they've been doing it. Doing their wickedness so long, and the Lord did did nothing to them right away. Yeah, well, what's that? Uh, Psalm fifty-five. Yeah. He said, "Since thou thought of, you thought us all together, I was once as, such as one as thyself." Yep. But he said, "I will reprove thee and set them in order before thine eyes, man." Yeah, you, you fell for the ultimate okie doke, man. Yep. The Lord just fucking building a case on your ass, man. Huh? Yeah. The Lord actually set his ass up. Yeah. Right. <laughs> had his ass come over here to America, True. laid him over here. Took over, uh, 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 had him take the children of Israel, right? We got punished, rightfully so, right? right? So the time came, he raising us back up, the army of Israel, Ezekiel 37, but he got all the Edomites over there, right? Oh, yeah. All the ones who wanted to kill and destroy. X marks the spot, right? Because it was already prophesied that I'm going to blow that place up, oh, yeah. right? Even Enoch prophesied that way back in Genesis. Yep. So he got all the ass, what they say, uh, they should build, but I was throw there. Yeah. So he set his ass up in the trick bag. Yeah, yeah, build over there. That's a nice kingdom. He's going to take his elective out there and destroy all of the evildoers, man. You've been set up and duped, man. Hey, right. He had the nerve to quote 2 Ezra to get right. over here. Yeah. So you quoting the Bible. You knew you should have read about the destruction of the new Babylon. Yeah. You should have read the destruction about the new, this new world that no man ever dwelt before <laughs> yeah. that you was going to come to, man. The right. man called it manifest destiny. Right. That's he said that, man. Right, right. Hey, the, even, the, even them taking over us, they said in the scripture, I think it's Zachariah, they said who holds himself not guilty, not guilty, yeah. we are rich. Yeah. All right? You have some bro? Uh, this, the book, uh, this is the book of 2nd Edges, chapter 16 and verse 12. The earth quaketh and the foundations thereof. The sea will be big earthquake once the is rock. Yeah. What's the Isaiah 24? It says, so rock to and fall like a drunkard, man. Yeah. You're gonna feel the pain, man. You're gonna feel the wrath of Yahweh by Shimei man. The Lord's about judgment. The scripture says Psalm, he love him judgment, man. Right. He love to whoop that ass, man. Right. But it say when he's tried, when he's tempted, he corrects, he love to prove a motherfucker wrong, man. Right. Right? You got it. The sea ariseth up with waves from the deep. Yep. And the waves of it are troubled. And guess what? Even when the missiles hit, you're gonna see no movies from water just be. Yeah. <laughs> the sea and shit. Hey, the Lord, hey, what does Habakkuk say? Lord, but you mad to see? Because he's going to destroy all this shit, man. Right. It's gonna evap the water going to evaporate, man. Right. Everything on the, on the soils of America going to be destroyed, man. Well, you know what? Fire is a cleanser from the filth, man. This is a filthy-ass place, man. That's right. right. That fire, so it, 
must be get purified with fire. Right? All right, because it's greatly polluted. Right? This Isaiah chapter 13 and verse 19, it says in Babylon, the glory of kingdoms, the beauty of the Chaldees excellency shall be as when God overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah, it shall never be inhabited, neither shall it be dwelt in from generation to generation, neither shall the Arabian pitch tent there, neither shall the shepherds make their fold there. Yeah, hey, that's talking about Babylon the Great, man. This is the place that's been a golden cup in the Lord's hand, man. Right. All right? This is the most powerful, influential, and wealthiest uh, uh, country ever in history, man. Right. There's never been a, a country like this, man. All right? This is that whore. This is that fucking mother of all, man. The Lord like, said he's going to destroy you. It said the Arabians should not pitch tent there. I'm talking about two motherfucking heathens, man. That's right. When you go back to Revelation, the 18th chapter, it talks about how y'all going to move. It says they're going to will. Yeah. When you will, that means heavy lament, man. They ain't no average crap. That's like, oh, uh, shit, no America. Money. We can't make no more money. Yeah. Because <laughs> why? This is that money maker, man. Even the worse. These heathens know that when America go down, what's coming next for them, man? Yep, slavery. They going into Jeez. slavery, man. Yep, starting with two kings, you uh, the, the elites of Esau, and all you elites, you heathens, man. You yeah. will have the pleasure of being the first one with chains on you, hey, man. And y'all right. gonna hide no bunkers too, man. It's and the right. Lord will come get your ass out, chain you up, pull you out, and put you at the bottom. And gonna say, hey, come stand y'all feet upon the necks of these kings, man. Hey, it ain't right. nothing, man. And you know what else it is? Yep. No more free fall, no more being, Doing your wicked. Yeah, ain't gonna, be, yeah. There ain't gonna be no uh, homosexuals walking around, man. Yeah. It's your last stand right here. This Isaiah chapter 24 and 19. Yep. The earth is utterly broken down. The earth is clean dissolved. Clean the dissolved. Earth. They do say, that's what that fire's gonna do. Yeah. Clean this place up. Hey, when you go into, I believe it's Revelation, like 2022. But it goes in and puts Jerusalem coming down. It says, uh, we go into the blue light. It says, by uh, earth renovation by fire, man. And that renovation, it goes into uh, making it new, making it clean, bringing it back to health. But that's after the destruction comes. Via those ICBMs, man, that judgment of the Heavenly Father. It's it. Yeah, the Lord got, it. Lord got a, uh, his own new world order plan. Uh -huh. Great know, reset. Reset, right. right. That's, it. that's the real reset. Now we saw. Right. Thank you. Oh, fucking yeah, the righteous reset. Yeah. It says the earth is moved exceedingly. Yep. The earth shall reel to and fro like a drunkard. Y'all coming on missiles, man. It's gonna be a great earthquake, man. It's gonna shake this bitch. Mm -hmm. All right. The Lord gonna hey, what did it say? The pressing floor is gonna rip this bitch apart, man. Mm -hmm. You ever seen a tree when it comes out the roots up? Yeah. How it pulls everything out with it. That's what the Lord gonna do to this place, man. He says it's gonna be a line of confusion. You're yep. gonna know where California was at, where Chicago was at, where Indiana was at, where Detroit was at, where Alabama was at. Gonna be just confusion, man. A big ass desert. Yep. Yep. It says the earth shall reel to and fro like a drunkard. Yep. It shall be removed like a cottage, and the transgression thereof shall be heavy upon it. Yep. And it shall fall and not rise again. And it shall come to pass in that day that Yahweh shall punish the host of the high ones. Hey, that's how. Hey, who is the host of the high ones, man? You Edomites. Right. The scripture also call you old down most proud, man. Who's the proudest nation on this on this earth, man? The Edomites. Who else said I am and no one else? Who else is putting the blood on the earth and fencing themselves to be the most high, man? Right. Who else painted a picture of themselves to be God and the Son of God, man? Right. Who else have stole a whole nation and stole their heritage, man? That's right. If he's not the one, if not wherever, who is he, man? That's right. Where's the men of sin? But the cause of prophecy said at this time he will be revealed. And he will be ruling, man. That's right. And he will frame mischief by law. Who else has done these things? Esau Edom, that's who, man. That's right, man. And we hey. And you know it's Esau, because when you look at all these other heathens, they guys be cartoon characters and shit, man. Yeah. Blue people and purple motherfuckers and shit like that. Esau the only one that made it look like him, man. None of these heathens be doing that shit, man. They be having fish gods and shit. They don't. They don't be having real uh, depictions of themselves as who they think the Most High is, man. This Isaiah 24 and 21, and this shall come to pass in that day that Yahweh shall punish the hosts of the high ones that are on high, and the kings of the earth upon the earth, mm -hmm. and they shall be gathered together, 
as prisoners are gathered in the pit. Mm. So that's, that's the powers that be. That's what that's talking about. You know, they gonna be the first ones gathered up to be slaves. That's right. It. First round draft pick. Yep. Well, hey, you are the elected slaves. That's right. Yeah, how about Shimei was sad, man? Yep. You got the pleasure to be the first ones. Yep. Um, hey, uh, you get a depiction of that in that. Uh, What's that movie? X-Men. Uh, yup. You had, I think it was Magneto and yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. He grabbed them niggas out the market, man. What did they get that from? The holy scriptures, man. It's yeah. prophecy, man. Hey, hey, Psalms. Uh, it says we're going to bound their kings with chains, man. This Isaiah 24 and 22. And they shall be gathered together as prisoners are gathered in the pit. And shall be shut up in the prison. And after many days shall they be visited. Then the moon shall be confounded and the sun is changed. When Yahweh of hosts shall reign in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem and before his ancient glories. And you know what that song, what it says to read that part This uh, verse 23, then the moon shall be confounded yeah. and the sun ashamed. Hey, guess what? The moon shall be confounded and the sun ashamed. Y'all gonna be in confusion. Y'all ain't gonna have no knowledge, no wisdom against this, man. That's right. Not gonna have any answer for it, man. Mm -hmm. That's what that means, man. Because the moon represents uh, understanding. And the sun represents wisdom, man. All right? Y'all ain't gonna have no way out of this shit, man. No way out of it. You got it, bro. I got this bag you up real quick before you get It's the bag you up. It's uh, Revelation 6 and 15. All prophecy, man. And the kings of the earth, and the great men, and the rich men, and the chief captains, and the mighty men, and every bondman, and every free man, hid themselves in the dens and in the rocks of the mountains. That's those bunkers, man. And hey, you go on YouTube over on the east, they got fucking whole mountains, bro, that open uh, up like a goddamn car door, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. they showed you that in uh, Kingsman first class. I mean, Kingsman, mm -hmm. uh, that show. But hey, they put the chip in everybody, and they went into the mountain, man. That's right. But that's all from the Holy Scripture. The Book of Amos talks about it, man. Oh, that's guess what? Show. The first one, I believe, it was the first one. I believe. Oh, you said show, right? Uh, they, they got fucking movie theaters. They got food down there. Yeah, swimming yeah. pools. They think it's gonna be hunky. They got whole gardens in that bitch. I'm talking about like a whole. It's like a world. They got inside the water, of a world. They got the water yeah. park in the basement. Yep. Lazy River, all that shit. It said, and said to the mountains and rocks, fall on us and hide us from the face of him that sit up on the throne. And from the wrath of the Lamb. And who's the Lamb? My Lord, you how was that? It say, for the great day of his wrath is come. And who shall be able to stand, man? <coughs> but ultimately, y'all gonna run to those fucking bombers and try to hide them. They're gonna see the destruction of America. Right? They because remember, stand up for all people like them. They're gonna when all this shit starts to happen, man, they already making an escape plan to hide. If you ask me, a lot of them already did it, man. Yeah, they said they stopped, you know, fire that they hit the back door and beat. Man. Yeah. They know it's all hell about the break news, yeah, man. Yeah, they know already. It's just these dumbass Americans that don't know, man. But you, yeah. you're elite, the people that rule and run your society, they've been left. Yeah. Because they understand the scripture. They know that the Lord is going to destroy this place, man. Yeah. And they went over there to the retreats, man, the yeah. underwater uh, facilities, too. Hey, a lot of, uh, a lot of big, the real, super real rich, they not even in America. That's it. You only they see, only have the left, man. You only see middle management around this yeah. motherfucker, man. Like low class millionaires and shit. Hey. All the real ones had real, real money. They big got the fuck out of here, no. man. Yeah, and right. hey, they said, uh, I believe Kanye, he bought one. Uh, Kim Kardashian, she yeah. had one yeah. and she was showing us. So I'm like, hey, yeah. you got that shit that's here, but hey, this gonna be the lake of fire, man. <laughs> hey, you got a bucket. Man, look, you, you said she think shit. Yeah. You think yeah. a little hole in the ground gonna stop 200 nukes? Bitch, that fire gonna go right through the hole. It says gonna rip the threshing floor, man. That nigga gonna rip the... It, it, hey, come on, man. He gonna rip the root off this bitch, man. Yeah, 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 shit. You ain't gonna be able to enjoy being out of here, shit. Yeah. Then another thing that they don't be considering... Like, you gonna lock yourself in this bunker and one of these niggas gonna bug out and start raping holes and cutting holes' heads off. And you gonna be locked in there with this nigga. Hey, man. hey, guess what? Can we get this real quick for you? Can you get uh, what's that? Second address, uh, fifteen. Cause it talks about how you gonna be in the, the mountains. They gonna start having uh, cannibalism, man. Oh yeah. They gonna start eating each other. I believe it's fifteen, the last verse. Man. These niggas think they got oh, but we got a year's worth of spam down here. Okay. Yep, I got you. Yeah, Lord gonna throw a bucket. Yeah. Cause even for the missiles here, like y'all gonna turn each other, start eating each other, man. That's right. 
And y'all in a trick, man. Ain't no escaping this judgment. And the Lord says it's better to die by a sword than hunger, man. Well, they showed right. you a movie. I've got the name movie. Well, they got movies on that, man. You know, they, th they think it's all going to be all good. They, they end up turning on each other, man. Because it's no law and order like down here. Do. When you put yourself in a position like that, whoever is the person that can impose themselves on the other people is going to do that, and nobody going to be there to stop you. Hey, 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 they show you in the movies, man. Kingsman and in that show, 100. It was like yeah, a nuclear yeah, fallout yeah. or whatnot, but they went down in, in a bucket and they all hell broke in. But I got that for you. This second address, 15 and 5, 55, Salakia, it says, The reward of, of thy heart shall be in thy bosom, therefore thou shalt receive recompense. Like as thou hast done it to my chosen Savior, Howard, even so the Most High shall do unto thee. So everything you plan to do unto us, action. The Lord said, Don't fall upon your own fate, your own head, man. And the Lord said the recompense is for the controversy of Zion. The Lord is bringing that judgment for what you've done into the apple of his eye. It says, like as thou hast done unto my chosen, saith the Lord, even so shall the Most High go unto thee, and shall deliver thee into mischief. Thy children shall die of hunger, and thou shalt fall through the sword. Thy city shall be broken down, and all thine shall perish with the sword in the field. They that be in the mountains shall die of hunger. See that? They that be in the mountains so die of hunger, man. The Lord know y'all gonna make a run for it. They was the ninth chapter, man. Got it right here too. Yeah. The Lord, I see. We already. The, the Lord told us to end from the beginning. Yeah. So we already know. We sit back like, yeah, they gonna be over that mountain over there. Look at that little ranch he went over there. Yeah. Catch that little monkey. It's like the Lord said traps already. Like a mouse trap everywhere, man. Yeah. All right. And hey, you ain't gonna pull a fast one on the heavenly Father. Yeah. His eyes are, hey, to and fro through the earth, man. Yeah. He know what you gonna do before you thought that you was gonna do it. Yeah. That's, hey. what, that's what make me saw it. Yeah. He's real in it. It was like, man, that's like you send a bear trap in the spot. You step in your own bear trap. Yeah, you put some leaves on it. Yeah. He see you do it, put some leaves on it. <laughs> <laughs> he still walk that motherfucker. That's how he saw dumb ass shit. You really think you're going to defeat the one who created you, man. That's why it says in Obadiah, the pride of thine heart has deceived thee, man. Yep. You got to be real proud for the thing that you defeat someone that created you. It's uh, verse 58. They that be in the mountains shall die of hunger and eat their own flesh. See that? Cannibalism, man. Hey, what's that scripture talk about? They survive the right arm or something yeah, yeah, like that? Yeah, yeah. Uh, hey. It's Isaiah, I think. It's Isaiah, I think. Yeah. Because they ate a lot of their cannibalism coming back. Yeah. Remember in 70 AD, that happened to us. Right? They were going up the cities, the besieged the Jerusalem. You start eating the leaves, you start eating babies and shit, man. Yeah, yeah. Well, guess what? The Lord going to bring cannibalism back, too. Right? Everywhere, man. It said it's a bring famine upon the world, the soil and death of destruction. That's a big thing, man, for you for you not to eat. That's the worst judgment, man. We would starve out to death, man. Oh yeah. It's like a repeated process. Nothing new on the sun, as scripture says. That's it. You know? Yes, I will. Yeah. Uh, Isaiah 9 and 20, and he shall snatch on the right hand and be hungry, and he shall eat on the left hand, and they shall not be satisfied. They shall eat every man the flesh of his own arm. Ooh. Hey, that's capitalism, man. Yeah. Alright? It's gonna get so bad. You ever seen them cartoons? They get real hungry. They start looking at each other, start looking like a hot dog and shit. Yeah, little 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 you know? Little little yeah. Little little cartoon, yeah. Hey, that's gonna happen in real time, man. Hey, you got people that actually brag about like, man, if they ain't no food, I'll just eat somebody, man. People out here fucking nuts. A lot of that McDonald's and shit y'all eat is fucking up uh, uh, human uh, uh, flesh anyway, man. Yeah. A lot of that food, man, is bullshit, man. Yeah, they can catch us here, yeah, eat each other, eat us. Hey, uh, what was the movie, uh, in class, uh, I think it was called Bad Bad. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. 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 He the mic, uh, I think she in Mexico and they just captured her, chopped up the uh, little uh, bit by bit, bit they kept her alive. Bit. Yeah, kept her alive, sealed, sealed the wound to keep her alive. Uh, 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 kind of like, yep. Yeah. I think there's another movie with uh who was what's that dude who played Titanic? The old oh, Caprio. Leonardo DiCaprio. They was like uh he was like whoever died first in the uh what's that name of the movie? They was like the winter time. Like whoever died first, he said, just start eating on the, um, the buttocks. That's where the most meat at. Oh, Play soldiers in those movies. How they, 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 the shit come the worst, they just start eating each other, man. We just say whoever died first, is, we're gonna eat whoever. They been talking like that, man. So that's they show you the movies, get your mind prepared. These people gonna do that shit, man. A lot of people are fucking overweight. 
They, 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 they can't wait to eat. No, they think it's fucking just, just greed, man. Yeah. And that's the way, food is a way to control people, man. To make you do what you, to make the government make you do what you, to, to, yeah, yeah. to control you. They're going to cut the food supply out and make you say, look, you want to eat, take the chip, man. All right? Okay, that's funny. I got a little brother in the like you talk about. Oh, like uh, yeah, yeah. Act more pain. That's most of America. Yes, This second address, 15 and 58. They that be in the mountains shall die of hunger yep. and eat their own flesh and drink their own blood wow. for very hunger of bread and thirst of water. Hey, that's the tale. If the Lord lets you die from a famine, right? To the point where you were ready to commit cannibalism, the Lord hated you, man. That means the Lord had a real vendetta against your ass, man. He starved your ass out to the point of cannibalism. Hey, could that happen to uh, uh, the curse of Jake? Yep. It got so bad in Jerusalem in 78 to the point they was eating each other's kids, man. That's a point of desperation, man. When there's nothing left, nothing else left, just you look at your yeah, two-year-old yeah, like, damn, yeah. I gotta cook little Tommy, man. Yeah. Fuck it. Yeah. That's that's a that's that's a state of uh, uh, despair, man. That's a horrible judgment. But that's gonna happen. And that's the power of heaven and earth, man. That's the that's the God we dealing with, man. Well, you know what? It's well deserved. Then you get for being wicked, man. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and throwing the, the law, statutes, commandments of the Lord, and uh, 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 under your back, man. Just having a free fall, doing all your wickedness. Man. Yep. This is judgment the Lord going to bring upon His place, man. Yep. Including you two thirds, man. We hope the Lord have mercy on us. This Amos chapter 9 and verse 2. It says, Though they dig into hell, then shall my hand take them. Though they climb up to heaven, this will I bring them down. So guess what? Y'all gonna dig in the earth. Y'all, we know y'all got those space stations in the heavens. The Lord right there looking at your ass. That's actually what he say, heaven my throne, the earth come from. Actually, you go to the heavens, you have been close to the Lord. Why you sitting there watching your ass in the, in the, in the dark? It's watching you, man. Hey, you got Elon Musk. He desperate with that SpaceX. He, he gonna try to test uh, test rockets to go up there, man. He ain't doing that just to go back to the moon. Yeah. No, he's trying to escape the judgment that's gonna come. Yeah. But the Heavenly Father got you in that trick bag, man. Yeah. They made a movie called The Elysium. Yeah. All the elites was like in the heavens and shit. Yeah. They just come down to earth with this crazy as hell. Yeah. Hey, that's only the movies, dog. That's the thing in your imagination, man. You know? That shit ain't about to happen, man. The Lord gonna bring your ass out the sky. You dig in the earth, you gonna come get your ass. We read it. Well, out the mountains, the pits. Well, you know, you're dealing with a, a delusional nation of people. That's East. Yeah. Just delusional as hell. Wacko. Yeah. This verse 3. And though they hide themselves in the top of Carmel. The, hey, the, the mountains. Yep. Hey, why is it, why is it keep, that, there's so many scriptures that talk about the mountains they're gonna hide in, man. Because all, see, that's the new thing now. When you start having Kanye West and and, and, and likes of Kim Kim Kardashian talk about uh, bad bumpers. That's how you know that shit is just out there now. They probably getting the low class bumpers. The shit that ain't really nothing. Right, got bumpers, got 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 friend Ray for shit right yeah. for my ass. Yeah. <laughs> when niggas start to catch on the things, man, hey, the elite been out of that, man. Yeah. They selling you the residue. Alright, that's how you know this money system is done. Take starting to come up with money. Oh, they been down with that dollar, man. Oh, yeah. They done cost over. They like, give a nigga that money. <laughs> we done with it. <laughs> give a nigga smalls. They done fuck up the system anyway. That's what we want to do. Yep. See? You can have this over with it. Yeah. Hey, you know what? Y'all can have all the switches and guns and shit. We got drones and missiles now. Yeah. We can see through fucking uh, buildings from miles away and shit, man. Oh, yeah. We can shoot you in the crib in Europe playing a PlayStation game and in America, man. Yeah, it's, it's, they'll watch the movie they showed you that, man. And, uh, do the sound lights. Uh, it was once they do the sound lights. Like, in the Yeah. Uh, no, wait. I'm like, no, I'm, I forgot that. Okay. It was Denzel Washington. They zoomed in through the break. We got clear shot inside the house. The safe house? I, I think it was uh, yeah, one of Denzel Washington. I think they look for uh, some woman. They still right through the brick. And Jack uh, Clear shot what, what's going on in the house. Yeah. yeah. Esau got that technology, man. Right. Made a diligent search. Yeah. Hey, what was his uh, blessing? The sword. 
So you think he haven't uh, perfected in this time, which is his last stand? Yeah. He had perfected all those weapons, man. They got things that we don't even know about. They talking about police dogs in New York this summer. It's gonna get real. It's gonna get real nasty out here, man. I'm talking about RoboCop nasty. Yep. All right? uh, Jurassic Park nasty. All right? Cause the scripture talking about the animals changing their places, man. Hey, you see coyotes just running through neighborhoods now, man, at night. Yep. You know, soon they gonna get home and start attacking people, man. What was that? The Lord got bees. It was the bees attacking the police officer, man. Oh yeah. That's business of the Lord, man. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's like, uh, what's the little birds the geese? You know, they usually don't bother nobody. Shit, the Lord puts me on them fucking pecs. Yeah, you know what man. They walk down the street. You know, show you. The Lord controls everything. That's right. This Amos chapter 9 and verse 3. And though they hide themselves in the top of Carmel, I will search and take them out thence. And though they be hid from my sight in the bottom of the sea, this will I command the serpent, and he shall bite them. Who is that serpent? The bite they got underground uh, 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 cities, man. I think over there in Dubai, they even got some mansions that's even built in the water, man. They showed that, man. No, they got islands. They got a whole island, island, islands of the world. They're actually seeking now. Mm. Yeah. It was just on the news last week. Mm. Damn, man. Hey, but y'all build seats in the water that y'all gonna have. Hey, there's nowhere to have, man. No. Uh, you can't, nowhere to run, nowhere to have, but you go up space. Nowhere in the earth you can hide. There's nowhere the Lord can't see you, man. Right where they say, what's that, Proverbs 15? The eyes of the Lord, uh, 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 keeps my presence. No, uh, 15 and 3, I believe. Like, bro, the Lord, oh, created, Lord created you, man. You ain't, you ain't God thinking, fool the Lord, man. Come on. Man. Yeah. This wisdom of Solomon 1 and 7, for the spirit of the Lord filleth the world, and all that which containeth all things have knowledge of the voice. <laughs> Therefore, he that speaketh unrighteous things cannot be hid, mm. neither shall vengeance right. when it punisheth right. passeth by him. Yep. For inquisition shall be made into the counsels of the ungodly, mm. and the sound of his words shall come unto the Lord for the manifestation of his wicked deeds. Point being, when the Lord brings that judgment, that wrath, hey, ain't nobody go just uh, avoid judgment. When the Lord got it out for you, he won't come and get you, man. You elites. They think you're just gonna go and flee to the bunkers overseas. It's all good. The Lord put you there. Yeah. Why? So the minute the Lord can come and grab you out there, you be the first fruits of slavery, man. Yeah. All right. Hey, what did it say? The Lord has even created the wicked for the day of evil. The Lord saved my life just to get your ass for that big bang, man. Uh -huh. the, the big surprise, the big whammy on your ass, man. Mm -hmm. All right? Yeah, I got you. Uh, Proverbs 15 and 3, the eyes of the Lord Yahweh are in every place. And what's the eyes of the Lord? The angels, man. Yep. The angels all around us now. You can't see them. They're in a whole other dimension, but they're right amongst us, man. They're right there in the council of the wicked. They're right there watching what you're thinking in your mind. What you say out your mouth, they record them, man. The angels are the, the biggest snitches. they telling on your ass, man. All right? And they're controlling everything you do. Uh -huh. Hey, Psalms 91 says, let's not dash thy foot against a, a, a rock, roughly paraphrasing. I was thinking about it because the big brother was going into it earlier, how the men of the Lord are protected. And if the Lord ain't with you, you through. I think about Kevin Samuels, man. He was, he, wasn't, he didn't come out and say, you know, this the truth and so forth, but hey, he was speaking against Esau in a way. And guess what? They killed his ass, man. Yeah. Murdered the nigga, man. Yeah. But the men of the Lord been out here pushing his word faithfully for decades. And hey, they can't do nothing against us, man. Because yeah. the Lord is with us. That's it. You had that not fucking around crew ass nigga. Where he at now? Like, you bring it out. He in prison. Yeah. Right? You got all these other camps. Where they at now? They no longer doing nothing. Right? Because they didn't come out of the words of the Bible, man. The Bible, yeah, exactly. If you speak not according to these words, because there's no light in you, right? And one thing we're witnessing, most of these people in the society, they don't got no light, right? The, the Bible said the whole earth lies in darkness, man. Yep. They don't know who the fuck they are. They don't know why they're in the condition they're in, right? They don't know how they got in that condition. Right. First off, the Lord didn't bring your ass to America to be fucking great. Right. The Lord didn't bring you to America to be the best basketball player, See. football player, See. the greatest comedian. The greatest actor. Oh, I'm about to get an uh, Emmy Award. Man, hey, the Lord don't give a fuck about that shit. Right. Right? What's important? Right? What's important in society? If you're not serving the Lord, you're not doing nothing in this right. society, brother. Right. And I know y'all got some verses. Let's get some, man. Right. Bring them up. Proverbs 15 and 3. The eyes of the Lord are in every place, beholding the evil and the good. Beholding the evil and the good. 
So the Lord been, man, the Lord see all the evil in this society, right? All this pagan idol worshiping, right? Yep. You you into Christianity, that's pagan. You into Islam, that's pagan, yep. right? Buddha. Buddha, that's pagan. You into worshiping men, your favorite rapper, yep. your favorite singer, your favorite artist, your favorite whatever the fuck. That's idol worship, and the Lord's not dealing with that. Read that again, beloved. Yeah, yeah. they worship them themselves. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. nigga being a, taking pictures yeah. of himself all day. It's my birthday. Yeah. Hey, real quick, can I read this? All day, day, brother. I'm eating a French toast this morning. I got to take a video shoot of me eating a French toast this morning. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Book right in his nose. Yeah, right, man. A I bowl. woke up like this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Weirdos. <laughs> this is the book of Sirach, chapter 10 and verse wow. 9. Why is earth and ashes proud? Yep. There is not a more wicked thing. Look, I ain't never seen so many proud broke motherfuckers in my life in America. <laughs> the Lord said that's the one thing he hates. <laughs> a poor man that's proud. These yep. people ain't got shit. They <laughs> proud as all hell, man. They got a pot to piss in the window throw it out, man. But proud as hell. Their line fucked up, right? Clothes fucked up. Everything fucked up on these people, right? They fucked up. Wow. Look like <laughs> Everything oh, fucked up on them, but they proud. They proud wow. as hell. Hey, yeah. this, this is him right there. That was it, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Yeah, homeless motherfucker. Proud. Homeless. He ain't got nowhere to go for the night. It's like a rain, sleep, and snow for the night. But he want to talk shit to you. Right. Yeah. This hey, crazy. I seen a homeless nigga on the train. This nigga asking for money. The little sweet white woman trying to give him a sandwich. No, nah, baby, I'm good. <laughs> oh, he's gonna give him two. He looking for that money for them drugs. Oh, man. You like, I asked for a dollar, bitch. What's that for? <laughs> 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 Hold on, man. 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 Hold man. that is proud, a rich man that is a liar, and an old adulterer that don't it. Play, yeah. man. Boy, man, that's, yeah. right. that's some oh. shit there, man. Alright, yeah, so real. Hey, oh. you gotta have fun with this thing, man. Nah, this, uh, people jokes. Like. Yeah, yeah, kind, kind. <laughs> this is uh second Ezra, 8 and 50. Why is the Lord finna bring great judgment on this place? Right. It says, Second Ezra, 8 and 50. For many great miseries yep. shall be done to them that are in a lot of time shall dwell in the world because they have walked in great pride. Yep. And pride come in many different ways, man. Pride, and a lot of these people pride, like the ones who correct. Why you think we do so many videos correcting the doctrine? And hope that you might see your error in your way and repent, man. All right? But pride may, hey, so you can be stubborn and be proud. Oh, I don't need no help. I'm good. Yep. You know? Or you can say, you know what? I got it already, man. I'm on my, I'm on my motherfucking live my best life. This is the worst life you ever lived in your life, man. <laughs> you around uh, weirdos, sorcerers, dogs, liars, murderers, all right, pedophiles. We know it's all doing the uh, the dark, man. The Lord sees it, man. The sword ain't confident is telling themselves, so, oh, yeah. man. Come, come, come. Yep. Got skeletons all in their goddamn closet, yeah, man. Right. Mm. See one to make song on the song. Skeletons in the closet. Yep. He showed us up, the nigga, business nigga, the fucking cross dresser. Hey yeah, man, there's music video on that. That's yeah. right. Cause the average cat out here is really Buffalo Bill on the low. That's yep. right. I don't know. Boy, Buffalo. <laughs> yeah, cause a lot of these people, man, they leaving, they they're living secret lives of wickedness. That's right. Yeah, cause we're in a society ruled by ruled by <laughs> ruled by Satanists, right? Yeah. How many of these these people walking back and forth, man? A lot of you motherfuckers is pedophiles, man. Y'all love right. that boy. Y'all love that boy pussy. Yeah, y'all love that boy pussy. Yeah, a lot of y'all homosexuals, man. A lot of y'all been touched up when y'all was young. Especially you average Caucasians. Oh man, man oh my goodness. You Caucasians like getting down to dirty. A professional homosexual, man, by nature. Hey, what the what the high priest by lawyer say? Every white man is a fact. <laughs> Oh, what? Every one of them. Oh, the scripture. Oh, yeah. The scripture said, what, what, uh, what's that? Uh, uh, no, Deuteronomy 32. Uh, that, 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 the uh, vine is of the vine yeah. of Sodom. Yeah. Actually says that, man. Yeah, you got these damn Edomites, suit and tie. 
people won't attend no, like they normal in public, but behind closed doors. Shit, they like get popped in their butt by a damn woman with a strap on. Hey, they got that bitch Ronnie at the crib. Say it loud. Say it loud. Yeah. Well, in Hollywood, the only way you're going to get that promotion, you got to cross that, that threshold into what? <laughs> Homosexuality, man. <laughs> they got to pop your fucking cherry, man. Come on, man. Walking around proud and you a faggot. And you a homo. <laughs> Hey, they got, they got a lot of, uh, they got a lot of comedians that's coming out saying like they, uh, I think Terrence Howard was one of them, saying leaving Hollywood, man. Everybody leaving that motherfucker. Come on, man. They start to expose. So like, like that. I believe uh, I was watching a broke video. They said that nigga, uh, Ray J said if his kids wasn't around, he'd kill himself, man. Just, just shows you that uh, that Ephesians, man, the worst I've done in the oh, dark, man. man. Yeah. It's a shame to speak up, man. All yeah. that's coming, coming to light, too, man. Hey, and Ray J been getting busted down since he was a short, a man. Short, bro. That was in the game for a minute. See, that's what y'all niggas don't know. These <laughs> average white people, they got the magic school bus tied up in their baseball, man. Mm -hmm. All type of little kids tied up, man. Hey, most of your stars right now used to be what? Um, kid actors. Damn. Yeah. Imagine what happened to them, man. Orlando Brown. Orla yeah. yeah, Orlando. The most fucked up dude on earth right now, Orlando Brown. Yeah. He, he bugged out. Going, he bugged out. The hey, lights Aaron. is on, but nobody Yeah, on. nobody there. Aaron Carter. That nigga just died. Oh, Aaron Carter. Who got it? He's like a pop star nigga. Yeah, he don't need it. Uh, 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 Speckle Bird, Jake. From the 90s, he used to be on Nickelodeon. He used to be on Nickelodeon. Dope Nick yeah. Carter, his brother yeah. was in sync, I think. His brother yeah. named Nick Carter. And then he he the younger brother. And they really fucked him up. Yeah. Oh, one time you have sold yourself self for dog if somebody can get that when they get a chance. Go ahead, brother. Cause yeah, this I society, man, hey, there's nothing to gain in this society, right? Satan took up the Lord to and said, here, you can have anything in this kingdom. Hey, fuck this kingdom. Yeah. The Lord said if this was my kingdom. My men would fight. That's it. Yeah, we're gonna fight spiritually, but man, fight for what? We don't care for righteousness, but we're not fighting to uh, build greatness in this place. We're looking for the destruction in this place, man. We're looking for a new heaven and a new earth, earth. where dwell of righteous. righteousness. This place is defiled. Defiled. Isaiah 52 and 3 For thus saith the Lord Yahweh, ye have sold yourselves for naught. Ye shall be redeemed without money. Yeah, because the Lord already died. Your house already died for us, man, to bring us back to the Father. And what we waiting for, what, um, the fulfillment of these heathens, man, until the time of the Gentiles be fulfilled. That's it. Right? <clears throat> and one of the last fulfillment of the Gentiles, what? The MOTB, the it. mark of the beast. Yep. Right? Because they really don't have nothing else to push. That dollar is collapsing. Everything is pointing to what? Digital currency, a fucking chip in your hand, That's in right. your forehead, fucking concentration camps. All the businesses that have been around for a long time are fucking closing, yep. right? Yep. A lot of these people, they went from fucking master's degrees, uh, associate's degrees, to fucking driving around Uber, yep. delivering food, yep. right? A lot of motherfuckers used to work in the office, now they sit at home doing nothing. Baristas. They they work out. Work out. We just was talking about that at Target. <laughs> Only nigga, only motherfuckers you see working in that target over there is nigga bitches and fucking Edomite men. Mm -hmm. You never seen a fucking white man working at Target in, in, in 2002, man. He in the back as a manager when you need help. He come out, um, what do you need? What do you need? Come on, man. They, so nigga, they got these white men mopping the floor, man. Y'all motherfuckers. <laughs> man. Yep. Pop that go. shit up, boy. Pop that go. shit up, boy. Pop that shit up, boy. Pop that shit up, boy. Pop that shit up, <laughs> he had a damn got a, he, got a, he got a doctor degree in sandwich construction. Right. <laughs> he had a, he had like a uh, you know, sandwich construction. He had like Edomite with the college dad for like $77,000 uh, in debt. Talking about some damn, I work at a call center. Hey, Joe Biden ain't gonna get rid of that debt. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all looking for Joe Biden to get rid of that debt. The truth is, a lot of you Americans are fucking losers. Right. You're a loser, your parents are losers, and your children gonna be fucking losers. Yeah, that is the future of a lot of look at you gay as hell. Hey, go that way, B. Yeah. Go that way, B. Don't come this way. Because yeah. this way is on. Um, we're looking for salvation. 
Um, you people looking for destruction. You looking to back better yourselves in a broken society. That's right. You fucking losers, man. Bring out what you got. <laughs> they see America's a building on fire. They still trying to work in this motherfucker. Hey, they're trying to put the fire out. They got the nerve to be proud. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. You guys are gay firefighters. Sarat, <laughs> Sarat, wow. ten and seven. Pride is hateful for God. Sarat, ten and seven. Pride is hateful before the Most High and yeah. man, and by both does one commit iniquity. Yeah. These people are full of pride, man. All right, they don't consider. All right, their latter end or anything, man. Right, and even two thirds are just like these heathens. <laughs> Yeah, that's the rule. It's yeah. so all the people. Yeah. You got all the people got an Edomite vibration. Hey, the people look desolate, man. That's right. Can I get that one? Uh, wicked on authority. Oh, yeah, yeah, man. You can tell the wicked. Right you can tell the wicked to authority, man. Look at the people, bro. The people look bugged out, drugged man. out, and um, lucked out. Man, they're depressed. Everybody yeah. depressed, man. Everybody on uh, uh, fucking drugs, either illegal or legal. Everybody just fucking fucked up, man. Well, Go to work drunk. Wake up drunk, sleep yeah. drunk, all day drunk. They try to escape reality, man. Well, well, well Ted Well should let you know he saw his power. It, it's scripts say when he, he raised up, he's he, he going to take peace away from earth, yep. man. Come. And that's what, it's just what happened, man. Yeah, because when they say he oppress a man, even a man in his heritage, yeah. his household, man. Yeah. This fucking oppressor is ruling, man. Right. And under his vibration, everybody is fucking mourning. I got that for you. I got that no, I was going to sneak one in because you said something. I'm looking at my CEOs. And the presidents at my job, man, they look more depressed than we do, man. Oh, the motherfuckers, man. Yeah. they got all the money, they That's want right. everything, yeah. but they look fucking depressed. Hey. They look like they about to lose everything. Because you know what? Money don't money don't make you happy, man. That's Money's right. a defense. Yeah. What really makes you happy is knowing who you are and knowing the truth. That's right. That's the only real mess in the earth. Cause that's why a lot, most, majority of people that commit suicide is millionaires, man. Yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah. And the people the biggest drug dealers is millionaires. Still, I mean, still is crazy. Yeah. Like these niggas tell you they're doing everything they want to do. They got freedom. They can be a mo because they want to be a mo. They can do whatever, man, and, and still hate their fucking life, man. Yeah. They can travel they, when they want. They can buy whatever they want, right. but still yeah. hate their fucking that's lives. Right. That's why people buy so much, consume so much, right? That's why people overweight. That's why people buy so much uh, vain and useless shit. They trying to keep, they got to keep bad shit to, look, to fill, fill that something. void. Yeah. It's that void right. They got to uh -huh. keep getting high. They got to keep right. drinking. They got to keep having sex. Some of them motherfuckers make them feel good. But Our people yeah. are depressed. Yep, yep, they but it ain't working. They stuck in a trap because yeah. even with the consumer shit, yeah. 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 The, yeah. More, the, more, the more you buy shit, and it don't work, that shit make you more depressed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, you, you the more you keep doing this shit, you think it's gonna solve the problem, and then when it don't, you get more crazy, man. Yeah, exactly, guess what? That's why when the Lord put a plug in this place, you're gonna have, that's why it's gonna be easy for these people to go crazy. Yeah. But they can't get the drugs, they can't get satisfied no more. Shit. Everybody's gonna go fucking nuts, man. That's for right. food, for, for women, for, for whatever they want, man. This is gonna be a free fall. Oh, they don't man. want no fucking money, man. Niggas. They gonna want the, the kids, you, <laughs> your house, everything, man. Things gonna change. Yeah. Yeah. Nigga, niggas gonna be putting motherfuckers to the sword for a new port oh, 100. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And you saw how they were on the toilet paper. Yep, yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Already saw like a prelude to that, man. Yeah. That was toilet paper. Yeah. That wasn't food. Yeah, that was not food. Yeah, that scripture. I, I got that. Yeah, just a bunch, bunch of goddamn animals walking around. Kill all the animals. Yeah, beast. And the Lord's gonna bring a real situation to bring that real beast nature out of these people, man. Mm. That's all you're gonna do is one little plug and these people gonna snap, man. So that's all it is. Everything closing anyway, man. Slowly by so they closing. A hundred stores over here, two hundred over there, <laughs> four hundred over there, <laughs> forty right. Hey, these ain't regular right numbers, bro. Yeah. These ain't regular. Did you hear what a hundred here? Two hundred, they ain't closing five here, yeah. three here. Forty thousand times closing. Oh, that was business. But then you go over a month's time, you look back and add all that stuff, you're like, damn. And this a whole fucking city, half of a side of a city is gone. Oh, man. Oh. The neighborhoods already look like war zones. So ain't nothing yes. in the neighborhoods. Hey, hey, they show you back to the future. Uh, when you went back, they showed you um, in the 2000s. Yeah, yeah. Sand all over yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah. Storefronts broken into. And all the all the suburbs, who moved in the suburbs? Black people. Yeah. Because he tried to go back in his house. There was some niggas living in his house. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah,
solution. Yeah, that's why, yeah, that's why he had to go back in time. I'm trying, trying to fix that. I got a big thing. I got a book. Bill got all. I'm ready for the state. Yeah, because it's like a sports book. Uh, yeah, you know, uh, had had had. had, 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 had yeah, yeah, the book had had uh, the winning teams already in the future. Yeah. They bet it on. Yeah, that's how he made money. You saw him. Yeah, saw him. Ain't no going back in time, man. Yeah, you know, another movie. Just a movie. Yeah, that's it. Only in Hollywood. Yeah. If he, go, if he could go back in time, he wouldn't have been went back a long time ago. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But that's what he's trying to do by setting the two of Israel up. He's trying to reverse prophecy, right, by searching out the deep in the water, the, the heavens, Lock and yep, kill his son. He's trying to reverse prophecy because he really wants that birth party back. But now he's seen like, damn, we fucked up. Yeah. But guess what? You ain't getting it back, man. It's gone. Right. Man. It wasn't yours to begin with. Yep. Ain't shit to get back because you ain't never had shit, nigga. Yep. The Lord's word ain't gonna return it to him void, man. Yep. And these prophecies are faithful and true. Yep. Hey, Esau, Edom, the self-proclaimed white man is condemned. It's yep. gonna fall, man. And he did say, let's let's cut him off from being a nation. Yep, that's right. That the name of Israel be no more remembrance. Yep. But guess what? We're remembering we are the Israelites. Right. We are not Israelis. We're the Israelites, the children of Israel, man. That's right. they, all you gotta do is look up a definition. An Israeli is a citizen of the land of Israel. But an Israelite go back to the um, descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, man. Two different right, things. Hey, love y'all. So sweet, like. Another grand scripture. Proverbs chapter 29, verse 2. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. And hey, guess what? That, this scripture right here is all you need to show the word power. Because according to Malachi 1 and 4, who is the wicked? Esau, Edom, man. All right? The people mourn. The whole earth is mourning. The animals is mourning. Trees is mourning. All right? Everything is suppressed here, man. Right. Under this damn devil, man. All right? Y'all got some? You got another scripture? I got, I got, I got another one. Come. It's the book of Revelations, chapter 6. Verse 4 is the back of that. Right. And there went out another horse that was red. That red, hey, the horse represents power. That red horse, the red who's sitting upon is Esau, man. Go ahead. It's back to Genesis chapter 25, verse 25. He first came out red on over like a hairy garment, and they called his name Esau. All right, allow me to read again. This is the book of Revelation chapter 6, verse 4. And there went out another horse that was red. And power was given to him that set their own to take peace from the earth. That's Esau, man. That's exactly what he's done. He's went throughout the earth in his last, and he's deceived all nations, man. All right? Tell you that in Revelation 20 of chapter. Go ahead. And that they shall kill one another. Yep. And there was given unto him a great sword. Yep, that same blessing he got from his father Isaac, man. He got the feathers of the earth. We're watching the, the we're watching the, the, uh, the blessing that Esau received back in Genesis play out this time right here, man. And it's cankering away. Yep. Yeah, it's fading away. That's right. It's dissolving. That's it. It's, it's, um, it's corrupting. Hasten and fast yeah, to pass it. away. What happened, brother? Hasten fast to pass away. And that's the spirit you're supposed to have. You're supposed to want, want the destruction of this place. Yeah. That's right. You're supposed to want the hasten of the coming of your house side, man. That's right. Hey, hey, give me what the second piece is like. Wait, start at the top. Start at the top, man. Yeah, fuck this place, man. Ain't nothing left for us, man. What, what you want to wake up and go to work the next day, pay your bills, and do that for a fucking month, and do that again and come out and preach? No, we want to see the fucking end of this place. Go ahead, brother. Did you have something? Go ahead, go ahead. Real quick. Uh, Wisdom of Solomon 18 and 7. So thy people was accepted both of the salvation of the righteous and destruction of the enemies. Man, go ahead, break that down, beloved. Uh, one more verse. Uh, for wherewith thou didst punish our adversaries, by the same thou, thou didst glorify us whom thou hast called. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're waiting for. This place must go down. This place must be overturned before the kingdom of heaven comes. You know, that's what we're hastening this day for, man. All right? That's what we want. That's it. What, in 2 Peter 3? Um, yeah, second Peter 3. This, this second Peter chapter 3 and verse 1. This second epistle, beloved, I now write unto you, and both which I stir up your pure minds by way of remembrance, that ye be mindful of the words which were spoken before by the holy prophets, now the commandment of us, the apostles of our Lord and Savior. Yeah, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans. When you speckle birds, man, we gotta, we gotta try to help you remember who you are. 
right? You've been scattered amongst everybody in fucking captivity. You're in the land of your enemy, and you don't know nothing about yourselves. You don't right. know who your power is. The only way to get strong, you got to call back, go back to the Lord. Right. You got to go back to your ally, see me outside. Right. But you refuse. You refuse, man. Read that again, beloved. In 2 Peter chapter 3 and verse 2. One. This second epistle, beloved, I now write unto you, in both which I swear to your pure mother. Go ahead, brother. No, you got to laugh at these things. Go ahead, brother. Chris, this is the next thing. You're going to look at that. Oh, Chris, you're going to look at that. 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 They're trying to give us diabetes while we're back. They're trying to give us diabetes. I know y'all like that boy. They spread diabetes out this motherfucker. Yeah, you sugar cane motherfuckers. Go ahead, beloved. This second epistle, beloved, I now write unto you, in both which I stir up your pure minds by way of remembrance. Yeah, you ain't got to fight a uh, homo. Laugh at these niggas, man. Because you can't go to jail for laughing. I ain't never seen nobody go to prison for laughing. But yeah, this is what happens when you laugh, man. His spirit go down. He know, right. he know why you laughing. Because some nigga, you know you don't look right. You came out the crib with colorful hair, your blood pressure closed. <laughs> you got titties, nigga. Yeah, you play. Come on, man. You know hey, how we laugh. I'm afraid to say, man, man we laugh. these niggas not doing push-ups on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 the Lord, hey, the Lord making a no mockery of niggas, man. To have yeah, that reprobate mindset, hey, the Lord is making a mockery, bro. We just in the hood, and I was driving past. You had this fucking Jake. This nigga had a tank top on and a skirt, bro, oh, walking through the hood, man. Nigga just look like a clown, man. Hey, and you know what's funny? The boondocks. They put this shit in the boondocks. Where the nigga had the little, the little tank top with the skirt on, and them niggas was wearing pearls. You go outside, bro, all these faggots wear pearls now. Niggas, niggas that's supposed to be thugs wear pearls. I'll be looking at these niggas at work like, man, did you niggas watch the Boondocks, man? Man, look, you know they, that shit gay, right? Look, so I work at a job, man. To do that at the front desk, I, I, I feel bad for him. Because he got to see all this weird shit coming in. He said, a dude come in with short mini skirts, and this motherfucker gonna drop his bag on purpose. With no draws on oh, no. Hey, I said, man, don't tell me no more. Don't tell me no more. Oh, no. Hey, that's what we got to deal with in this weird-ass society, man. And we're going to speak out against it. Go ahead, brother. Read. Yeah, fuck this place, man. In 2 Peter 3 and verse 2, that ye may be mindful of the words which were spoken before by the holy prophets and of the commandments of us, the apostles of the Lord and Savior, knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers Walking after their own lust. Yeah, they're only speaking against this word because they want to continue in their filthiness, right? They want to continue in their wickedness. Oh, let me be wicked a little longer. Yeah, I want to continue to be a killer. I want to continue to be a drug dealer, a homosexual. I want to continue to go to college and try to find myself and be great in a broken society that's not going nowhere. America's not going nowhere. Yeah, WWE just sold their stocks. Yeah, <laughs> it's over. Yeah, MTV, it's over. MTV, MTV hey, it's like just MTV. sold their yeah. stocks. All of your favorite rappers, they're selling their fucking bios. They're getting rid of everything. The rich people are fleeing. They're leaving the big cities. So what the fuck are you thinking about? Yes. Everybody who got something are trying to get away from this place. But here you don't have nothing. You're trying to be part of this place. What's wrong with you, bro? Go ahead, bro. This Isaiah 19 and 14, Yahweh have mingled a perverse spirit in the midst of the world. I want to be great in a broken society. I want to find myself in a place where the Lord said, if you find your life, you're going to lose your life. Yep. So what's going on? Go ahead, I want to live in a society where Transformers have more rights than, me. than you. Transformers can go to the same bathroom as my daughter. As my son. Come on, man. My son can chop his rod off. What they call the what word. What I'm telling uh, you. What they call the word. Uh, it's it's huh? No, but it's uh, when you chop, dismember yourself, mutilate. My son, my children can mutilate themselves. Everything which is against the Heavenly Father is promoting here. Without your permission. Hey, they'll lock you up if you don't allow them to do that shit. The state of California just started doing it. But that's going to be the new normal for you niggas, man. Hey, Yo, you remember the 90s, if you spank your child, all that child got to do is, hey, hey, this nigga just shot up, shot the whole block. You mean I can't spank him? But you could come in and shoot him in his head yeah. and beat him up and choke him out. Yeah, Get off. Yeah, you, you could choke him out and kill him, but I can't spank my fucking child from keeping him from being wicked. Because they hey. got your kids. When they're born, they're That's born right. That's right. All right, they, 
Uh, all people are the people of the government. They control you, man. That's right. They got papers on all. Oh, you don't even control your kids. That's why DCFS can come in and take your tour out to your own house, man. That's they kids either. Your, our, our, your tours are property of the state, man. Yeah, and your mother signed you over at yeah. work. Yeah. We are property of the state. It's like a ship that came in the canal. Yeah. The, uh, uh, the vagina come out and sign your papers like a, like a ship. That's all yours. Yeah, I got a quick one for the government, man. Let me finish this. This Isaiah 19 and 14. Yahweh have mingled and perverse spirits in the midst thereof, and they have caused Egypt to err in every work thereof, as a drunken man staggered in his vomit. And this place is spelling, man. Hey, you got the AI coming in. These people are a, a twisted, corrupted, a perverse, backward man. And this ultimately, this place is falling, man. This is the book of John, chapter 10 and verse 10. The thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. I have come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. See, all you people, you think you free. You think these Edomites trying to do you a favor. The only reason these Edomites is here is to destroy you and to take you, man. You don't own yourself. You don't own your kids. You don't own your house. You don't own none of that shit, man. Esau on everything you got on paper, and he making you pay for it. That's part of the curse. He said you should go your enemy for the one of all, all things. things. Not uh, not to control anything. That's right. Hey, if I got a kingdom and I just took you over, why the fuck would I want to give you so much power to put me on the bottom? I don't want to be on the bottom. How much? That's not even a kingdom mind state, man. Come on, man. Why would I want you the teaching kingdom your to kids? Took over by the servants. That's not. That actually, makes sense. Esau shouldn't let you niggas take over, man. That's right. right. That's right. Right? Hell yeah, no. But the prophecy says the Lord gonna take you down, but he set you up, man. That's right. But the fact is, Esau, uh, he'll never let you take him over, man. He'll never let you get high enough to be where he at, man. That's, That's right. right. I don't give a fuck how much money you influence you get. You always a nigga in Esau. Out, That's man. right. And when you was getting close, that's when he brought them drugs in. That's when he really put the clamp on your ass, man. Because um, they did a documentary of... Um, when America was the greatest, you had all these black mayors, all these black governors, and all these so-called black men in different powerful oh, positions. Yeah. <laughs> they said, man, Esau came through the drugs, it was Come over. On, man. That's how you know you niggas ain't shit. No. Black mayor in the mayor house smoked the smoke fuck out. Smoked the fuck out. Cracked out. Come on, man. Yeah, but you know what? Esau did that, that crack epidemic. Esau did that to further the press jail. Because people are uh, impoverished, man. People ain't got shit. And, and, you know, everybody that Scarface movie, you know that? God, God, God. That fucked everybody head up. Everybody was being no dealer go to Miami sale. No, it was, it, was, it was a well-packaged propaganda. That's mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. That's what right. What's that movie about? The Scarface? No, it was a uh, documentary, the crack. Uh, you talking about Cocaine Cowboys? Cocaine Cowboys. Cowboy. You talking about that Ice Cube one? Is that the one? Uh, it's like 13 came out or something? Nah, it's a... Uh, it's on Netflix. It's a whole, like, showing just how that crack destroyed the black community. I forgot the name of it. Um, the Israelite community. Yeah. Right? Because you had the alcohol to destroy the Gaddis community. That's right. Right? Man, all, what did they do with um with the Northern Kingdom, man? They said send guns down there. That's right. Yeah, they got the Northern Kingdom to fucking kill each other and slaughter each other, man. Right. Um, um, what is that verse, man? Talk about um, suicide all things. Right. Uh, yeah, it's called Cut, cut. It's called Give crank. me that right quick. <laughs> Uh, crack cocaine, corruption, and conspiracy. Right, one thing I understand, this devil know your weaknesses, man. That's right. Because he has your book. He has your history. He has your documentation. He knows who you are. The scripture says he's wiser than Daniel. Speak, brother. Yeah, no, so he's wiser than Daniel. And it also says that the children of this world are, are wiser than the children crack. of light. Right. Yeah, crack. You see? So they know. They've done a diligent search. They, they know their homework. They've done the research. You know? That's like you get over on us. They know our weak spots. I got that. Yeah. That's a that's a that's a smart way of fight. Yeah. Well, you don't gotta lose your um, you ain't gotta lose nobody. Right. Well, they, they, uh, you know, some of their Edomites say that uh, uh, basically the best way to have a slave is to uh, to, uh, to have him know that he's down in prison or something like that. Make a best right. slave thinks he's free. Thinks he's free. Yeah. Thinks he's free. Yeah. 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 It's the book of Psalm chapter 64 and allow me to start at 2. It's the book of Psalm chapter 64 verse 1. To the chief musician, a son of David, hear my voice, O power, in my prayer. Preserve my life from fear of the enemy. 
And that number one enemy is Esau Edom, man. All right? Your number one nemesis. All right? Verse 2, have me from the secret council of the wicked. And they're from plotting. They're plotting. That's yeah. right. Right? We talked about the MOTV. Right? What, hey, anybody got that Mark of the Beast sign up? Please bring it out. The water, please, Baba Bouchard. Yeah. Yeah, you got the MOTV coming, man. I mean, it's the only medicine in my rock. Hey, man, get your psychotic ass the fuck from around here, man. Psycho motherfucker. Yeah, we dealt with him earlier. Get your crazy ass out here. What did he say? He was on the Jewish council? Yeah, he was on the Jewish council, nigga. He was on the Jewish council. Yeah, you on the council. Yeah, you on the council. Psycho motherfucker. Good, you in the right place, boy. Dumbass. Boy. Piece of shit. Alright, read that again. This is the book of Psalm, chapter 64, verse 2. Hide me from the secret council of the wicked, from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity. Okay, so the, the workers of iniquity got a plot. They're plot, right? We got a little bit of time left. Um, we got to try to get rid of as, as many of these Israelites as we can. That's right. But wait, they're waking up. What we going to do? Man, they're waking up. So we got to send um, false doctrines. That's right. Right now, um, man, can we, hey, call them by UIC. Yeah, Call them yeah. TOCC. Matter of fact, tell them we in the new covenant already. Get four cab below. Hey, man, get four cab below out here, man. Up their pay, too. Give them more money. They ain't, more got, money. It. They, they ain't gotta keep working. We in the new covenant. Tell them to stop. Come on, brothers. Hey, no, because he gonna get desperate. He gonna call up that man. Yeah, bottom dudes, man. But it's not gonna help. Hey, what the Bible say? You can't do nothing against the, the truth, truth, but for the, the truth. truth. That's right. Yeah, because even a wicked person, you're playing your role. That's yeah. right. You just fulfill prophecy. That's right. <laughs> you know, you're waking up more people. That's right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, you can't plug none of the elect out of the Lord's yeah. hand, man. That's right. And even if, like the elder Karab just said, the, the first person that I ever heard speak about being an Israelite was talking some off shit. But it's still... Woke me up to the point where, you know, you start seeking out more knowledge and then you, Lord, you know, the Lord bless and I end up finding the proper knowledge. So it's people that's going to hear these off breakdowns. And what ended up happening to me was that the dude who I was videos, I was watching, I watched all the nigga videos he had no more. So I went to go find some more videos. That's right. Hey, those that's meant to hit his word, going to hit his word. Yeah, how is going to draw you there to your house shot, man? Hey, anybody who know about Great Millstone, you gonna listen to all the other camps in the world, and it's gonna get to a point where there's nothing else. They have nothing else to talk about, that's right? And you looking for the next level, and you gotta come to Great Millstone, man. Right. Well, it's like you were saying, <laughs> you know, all these people they want to build a, a, a house somewhere that's gonna get burnt, and that's what all these other camps in the spirit of. They want to go to Georgia and buy plots of land and start communities and shit in America, like this motherfucker not about to get destroyed, man. These niggas going door to door like Jehovah's Witnesses trying to collect some money so they can go build a school somewhere, man. For what? There's Psalm 62 and 4, the precept that uh, brother, it says, they only consult to cast him down from his excellency. They delight in lies, they bless with their mouth, but they curse eerily, say lie. And that's Esau, Edom, man, and the rest of these heathens, man. They only consult to cast us down, man. Hey, that's the right. thing, man. And it's evident in our neighborhoods, man. Hey, go to these neighborhoods and, and, and ask. We were just right. talking about that shit. We were just talking about how, um, how, how uh, Ishmael in these neighborhoods, you know what I'm saying, how he gives us bullshit, but he ain't going to say that bullshit to his own people. No. You can't even go into um, to these neighborhoods where Ishmael lives, and most of them is, is intertwined with Esau. They can't even have their own corner stores over there. They got to go to bigger neighborhoods, man. What about Moab, huh? Moab oh. ain't eating that shit. Oh, Moab ain't even putting Chinese stores in uh, with Chinese people don't eat Chinese food, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that lets you know, man. They're going to make their own shit, man. They got their own yeah. type of diet, man. Yes. They don't eat that typical Cantonese Chinese food. No, this food. is for you guys. Yeah, yeah. You eat good. You eat very good. You know? You like it? Right. Should fight right? Should fight right back? High, high blood pressure? Cat? <laughs> high blood pressure? Um, blood pr high heart attack? Right. Yeah, they suck you high blood pressure and fucking heart attacks, man. And you niggas, you love it, man. That's why we say, man, fuck you niggas and your mothers, man. Man, you die slow, and we wait for your destruction, because it's all about the elect. Well, we are here for the elect, man. What you got? Read that right there. Real quick, hold on. Okay. Back, back to what we're talking about, man, how Moab, they feed us trash. There was some um, restaurants where we would stay at, and um, they kept getting closed down, you know what I'm saying, and, and reported rats being in the food. And you know what I'm saying? This is before the internet and everything, you know what I'm saying? 
But it was just enough for the word of mouth. When I heard about these devils putting rats in their food, I didn't want nothing to do with that shit, man. All you had to do is tell me a motherfucker put it right in their food. I don't want nothing to do with it, man. You know what I'm saying? Whether they were playing or not, I'm not eating that shit, man. They come to find out it was true, man. Them devils eat all that shit, man. Because now you have the internet. You can check out their wet markets over, over there. You can check out their diets. They got um, You can check out certain times of their festival of the year. And they're going to hunt dogs down. You know what I'm saying? All this is being revealed right now, man. The heathens being revealed and also Esau and the wickedness is being revealed, man. It's the book of Romans chapter 11, verse 7. What then? Israel have not attained that which you seek it for, but the election have obtained it, and the rest were blinded. Read that again, beloved. It's the book of Romans chapter 11, verse 7. What then? Israel have not obtained that which he seek it for, but the election have obtained it, and the rest were blinded. And that's a beautiful thing, man. The Lord is only dealing with the elect. Yeah, the election, right? The Lord don't give a fuck about two-thirds of his own people here in Babylon the Great. Right? Well, two thirds they gotta die because they're not gonna wake up to what's really going on. Right? They're fueled for the fire. They're gonna take the MOTB. They don't understand prophecy. <laughs> right? <laughs> you got a bunch of zombie motherfuckers that the Lord don't give a fuck about. Keep reading. Verse 8 According as it is written, the Most High has given them the spirit of slumber. Yeah, the Lord put your dumb ass to sleep. Nigga, that's why you can't fucking understand nothing, man. You ain't what well, you supposed to be like, goddamn, my mama was broke, my great mama was broke, my great great mama was broke. What the fuck? We believe in God. Why the fuck are we broke? Why are we continually suffering? Right? You're supposed to ask yourself. Read that again, man. It's the book of Romans chapter 11, verse 8. According as it is written, the most high hath given them the spirit of slumber. The spirit of slumber, man. You people, you don't understand nothing, man. You in them zombie-ass churches, you read about your goddamn selves, and you don't even know who the fuck these people are. But you, you know these people are not the white people in Israel. You know for sure that the people in the Bible are not the pale body people in Israel, but you don't want to, wait, I'm under the curses. I don't have nothing. I'm fighting against my brother. We're in the worst neighborhoods with the worst conditions. But you still can't see. Read that again, bro. It's the book of Romans chapter 11, verse 8. According as it is written, the Most High have given them the spirit of slumber. And the Lord ain't your ass with that needle, man. You don't fell asleep. Right? You don't fell asleep. So you're not going to get it. And we get it that you're not going to get it. So fuck you. Keep reading. Ask that they should not see. And the Lord said he ain't going to see. Hey, fuck that nigga, man. I don't give a fuck about a blind nigga. And is that they should not hear or, unto this day. You don't care about a spiritually blind or a spiritually deaf. Go ahead. Verse 9, and David said, Let the table be made a snare and a trap and a stumbling block and a recompense unto them. Yeah, certainly you men, you ain't going to get it. And you're not supposed to get it. And that is a good thing, man. Hey, they the walking dead, man. Yeah. All right? You ever watch President Eden? They the zombies, man. All right? So hey, you, you got the valley to dry bones, right? A lot of them bones, man. You ain't gonna get no skin upon your flesh. You ain't gonna get the breath of life. You ain't gonna wake up. This is not for you. Keep going. Sack up that sack of right. Bring that out. Bring that out. Yeah, we got good news for the left, bad news for you other motherfuckers. That's right. <laughs> You motherfuckers. Yeah, that's it oh, yeah, they, hey, man, I'm not, I'm not saying nothing wrong. That's English. I love it. I man. learned that from, from Esau either. Man. I love it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, brother. Read the book of Zechariah, chapter 11. All right. Can I, can I get a quick one for you? You better read it in, brother. This Isaiah 28 and verse 16. It says, Therefore, thus said Yahweh Power, Behold, I lay in Zion for a foundation, a stone, a tri stone. A precious cornerstone, a sure foundation. He that believeth shall not make haste. That's speaking of Yahweh Shai. This one is said to those that believe he is precious, but to those that are not. If I can grab it really quick, uh, right, I believe y'all read it. Oh, Peter. Yeah. Offense and to those that believe oh. because hey, Yahweh Shai is precious, man. The life, the Lord gave us life. This uh first Peter chapter 2 and verse 6. It says, wherefore also as it is contained in the scripture, 
Behold, I lay in Zion a chief cornerstone, elect precious, and he that believe on him shall not be confounded. Whoa, read that again, bro. First Peter 2 and 6. Wherefore also it is contained in the scripture, Behold, I lay in Zion a chief cornerstone, elect precious, and he that believe on him shall not be confounded. See, the thing is, with these people, they think that they could find God. Yeah. Right? Like God was missing. Yeah. Like God was in the back of a fucking milk cart. I found God. How, what you mean? When, when was God missing? The Lord ain't missing. You the one missing. That's right. Yeah, hey, you missing from your duty of, of serving the Lord. That's you right. were supposed to be serving the Lord. You didn't do it. So he said, man, Fuck here, man. Right. Hey, Apostle Paul, he said that X. It's like, hey, hey, he was like, hey, you looking for the Heavenly Father as if he not far off, basically. But hey, the Heavenly Father, and hey, he's making himself known through the prophets right now. But you people walk on and ignore the prophets. And your heart go back to your own covenants. You want to serve this white haired blue eyed bitch. Yeah. But you don't want to come back to your God that looks like you. But it's all good, though. This Isaiah 28. It's like it. This 1 Peter 2 and verse 7. Unto you, therefore, which believe he is precious, man. Yeah, how wish I is our life, man. And it's the only thing that keeps us going, man. We have a lively hope, man. Right? Verse continuing on, it says, But unto them which be obedient, the disobedience like it, the song which the builders disallowed, the same is made well, the head what of you the say. corner. I don't believe in your house, I. I want to continue my life. That's all cool. The wrath of the Most High is going to abide on you, man. That's right. You're going to fucking burn him. It says, and a stone of stumbling and a rock of offense, even to them which stumble at the word, being disobedient, were to also they were appointed, man. So ultimately, if you ain't of the Lord's elect, you through. You just hey, you're through. This is your end all be all. The judgment of the heathens, man, that fire, the day that's gonna burn as an oven, you gonna be sitting right here screaming, man. Melting while you stand on your feet. It's the book of Zechariah, chapter 13, verse 8. And it shall come to pass that in all the land, saith the Lord Yahweh, two parts therein should be cut off and die, but the third should be left therein. So two thirds of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are going to die here in Babylon, the great man, you know, and, and around the four corners of the earth, man. All right, you're not going to make it, man. Yeah, land is talking about America, man. You know? Hey, keep on reading, brother. Verse 9, and I will bring the third part through the fire, and we will refine them as silver is refined. So when the elect of the so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American speckled bird, that's who the Lord is going to save. Right. And will try them as gold is tried. They shall call on my name, and I will hear them. Oh, you got to know the name, man. You can't call them any old thing. Like these stupid-ass false pastors teach you, man. These false preachers. And even amongst the ones call themselves Israelites. <laughs> I will say, it is my people, and they shall say, the Lord Yahweh is my well, power. So guess what? You know what that's saying? That two-thirds are still no people unto the Lord. He said, the elect is his people. Hey, read that again, brother. It's the book of Zechariah, chapter 13, verse 9. And I will bring the third part through the fire, and we'll refine them as silver is refined. And we'll try them as gold is tried. They shall call on my name, and I will hear them. I will say, It is my people, and they shall say, The Lord Yahweh is my oh, power. Man, so the collect are the, are who the Lord considers people right now. You two thirds are still heathens, man. Right? You still know people unto the Lord, man. That's why you're going to get that heathen judgment, man. Lord gonna burn you here right along when you saw even your daddy and these other heathen nations. Mm -hmm. Since you wanna stay here and hey, get the judgment. Right. You wanna stay here and continue your wickedness. Guess what? Two thirds are even mad that the elect are returning. That, that, that means that puts stop to them being, being in their fucking wickedness. Right. You shine that light on them. Yeah. Are evil. That's, That's it. Yeah. They got, they got, like taco, they got run back into the dark. You turn on that light, man. Yeah. I got a precept for you. Yeah, go ahead, bro. Proverbs 8 and 36. But he that sit up against me wrong with his own soul. So you doing it to your own hurt, man. You ain't doing shit to the Lord, man. You ain't doing shit to the Lord, man. Okay, you want to spy my word, my ways? 
Hey, we just going. Hey, just going. Um, that. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. All they that hate me, love them. That's it. Mm. So you love them. They're suicidal. Yeah. yeah. Hey, hey, you tell you, you actually ask the Lord to so show it's real. Like whoop my ass, right? They ask him for that ass whooping, man. Cause you think you think these words are just words, right? Just like your father, right? Who's a shorty? Your father got that belt, and he's like, hey, if I had to come in now, I'm whooping everybody ass. The kid's like, ah, oh, whatever. Keep flipping on the bed. When the father raise up, but well, he say it's gonna be trouble, right? Yeah. When he raise up though and come in there, ain't no more time out and repentance. He gonna just start whooping ass. And that's what the heavenly father gonna send his son back to do. Once he crack, once he seal the elect. And y'all actually see that everything we said was real. Now you gonna wanna repent, right? The dead we said, the dead my power, my people shall be willing. But it's too late. But now it's time to just boom, boom. Oh shit, it's real, right? I'm taking my house party. Hey, remember, um, hey, you had kids, the disobedient child, shit. He got home and shit, yeah. and he got away with something. Yeah. Off right there with that belt. Yeah. Ready to whoop that ass. Yeah. 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 Oh, wait a minute. I got something, beloved. This Acts 17 and 30. In the times of ignorance, the most high winked at. Yep, so it was a time of ignorance. The most high winked at what? The folly of Israel, man. So we were blind, remember, we lost, we was a people that lost our heritage. Right? Jeremiah 17 and 4. We discontinued from it. So it was a it was a moment in time when we actually thought that being black was cool. That's black right. power. You actually thought that being Puerto Rican was cool. The Mexican flag and all these things. All man. that bullshit. Yeah. You know? Go ahead. In the times of ignorance, the most high went that. But now commandeth all men everywhere to repent. And he's not all men is talking about all Israel, man. Because yep. you heathens have nothing to do with repentance. All right? That's right. No future is slavery. So That's just right. you a heathen, just live it up, do coke, yeah. have, have fun. fun, whatever, man. But you <laughs> Israelites, hey, the Lord is calling you and he's demanding you to repent. It's not a, hey, we're not, we're not asking you to repent. We're telling you to repent. And whether you hear for beer, it ain't our problem. Right? We just telling you the words and the scriptures. That's right. The Lord said repent for the great evil day. Now, if you don't take heed to it and you don't come in, well, guess what? That's your loss, man. You're going to feel the wrath of every judgment written in the Bible, man. That your preacher's not teaching you. Your grandma ain't telling you this. Your granddaddy ain't telling you this. Actually, the Bible in your house still got dust on it, man. You only open it for one scripture. What they say, Jesus well. It closed the book, man. All right? But you don't know the Bible. You've never heard it like this before. Right? But the Lord said the words go out to the four points of the earth, then the end shall come. And we're seeing that coming fast. More and more you got uh, uh, news articles and clips about what? The MOTV. That's the next major prophecy. And we right in the midst of that. What's that, July? With the, uh, the, uh, Fed now. Fed now, Fed now. man. All right? Because what they're going to do is they're going to uh, 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 kill the dollar. And all of them are going to go this. Well, they killed all the CEOs of the currencies. Yep, yep. Oh, uh, what's cash that? Cash out. Y'all, they're getting rid of the, the loose ends, man. All right? And they're going to turn everything digital. So before they even bring the, the MOTV or uh, the chip mandatory, we're going to be in the digital system for a while. Then it's like a gradualism thing. Yeah. Then it's going to switch over and say, okay, so we got everybody used to that. Now let's plug their ass in. Right. right? That's how they're going to do it, man. So what? it could be what? Late on this year or early next year, man. But we right in the midst of everything. We right here, man. We right here, man. I got you, sis. And the times of the ignorance, the most I winked at, but now commanded all men everywhere to repent because he have appointed a day in the which he will judge the world in righteousness by that man whom he have ordained. Ooh, we what we going to judge him with? The how we shot they tell you in John the fifth chapter, the Lord has committed all judgment unto his son. Then he tell you in um, Exodus, they said, beware of him yeah. and obey his voice, but he will not uh, 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 forgive your transgressions. Right? They said, kiss the son, lest he be angry, and thou perish in the way. Right? Yeah. So the house is going to send back that man. He's the anointing one. Y'all is the holy one of Israel. And he's coming back for straight judgment, man. Yeah. Then he say, uh, uh, with fire. So I plead with all flesh, yep. and the slain of the Lord shall be me. The Lord, hey, the Lord of the Bible is about to put a lot of people to death. He ain't coming back with flowers. How you doing, my son? To greet everybody. He's coming to greet you with a sword, man. Right. As it says in Isaiah 47, I shall not meet thee as a man. Because when he was here 2,000 years ago, y'all put y'all hands on him, man. So guess what? Payback is coming, man. 
He said the day of vengeance is in his heart. All right, so the Lord is mad, man. But when Yahweh releases him, hey, it's, hey, it's going to be all out trouble, man. Even the elect going to be afraid and say, Lord, wrath, remember mercy. Yep. So scarcely be saved. Yep. Hey, I, no, I'm back you up because it says, uh -huh. um, because he have appointed the day in which, in the which, he will judge the world in righteousness yep. by that man who he have ordained. Yep. Where, whereof he have given assurance unto all men in that he have raised him from the dead. There's the point. That's talking about Yahweh Shad. That guy see it just broke it down. That man who ordained was Yahweh Shad, yep. whom he raised from the dead, man. Who died for the Israelites. Yep. Only the elect. Because the elect are the only nation of Israel right now, man. This this Bible only prophets the elect, man. Alright? Verse right. twenty, verse thirty-two. And when they heard of the resurrection of the dead, some mocked. Yeah. And others said, "We will hear thee again of this matter." Yeah, a lot of people don't believe, man. They gonna mock. <laughs> yeah, okay. We don't give a fuck if you believe or not. It's about hey. The Bible said, "What if something not believe, man? You ain't gonna stop nothing, man." Yeah. Right. Peter said, "As they were appointed to those ones that was disobedient and and, and, and uh." Uh, didn't receive the Lord back then. The same ones right now. That's what you right. that judgment, man. Yeah, yeah. Hey, and scripture, scripture speak about those that was born in vain, man. Yeah. Let my great mind elect be kept, man. Arrest him. You don't right. perish him, man. No yeah. escape, man. Yeah. Yeah. And we've been resurrected. We go into the word resurrected. It means arising again. Yeah. What we've been resurrected to? Back to our state of what? Israelites, man. These days, we were on the prophets that was prophesying back on. Why? Well, because Daniel 12. They said the end of the day, we should fall back into our lot, man. That means we always knew who we were, man. Why? Because they had the truth that returned back into us again, man. That's not by coincidence, man. It's all prophecy, man. That's right. It's all prophecy, man. And just because you don't believe, that, that don't move the Lord. Yep. At all, man. That don't move. The Lord's still going to do what he says he's going to do. You're going to know it all day. It ain't going away, man. Can I get a quick one for you there? Okay. This uh, Sirach chapter 36. This Sirach chapter 36. And uh, because a brother just mentioned something. This Sirach 36 in, in verse 15. I'll start at 14. It says, Fill Zion with thy unspeakable oracles and thy people with thy gold glory. Give testimony unto those that thou hast possessed from the beginning and raise up prophets that have been in thy name. And hey, the same man that's preaching this word now was the same man that was preaching the word where you how we shine believe back then, man. This is true. Uh why you write us up or resort back to those that practice. Oh, I got it. I got it. Uh Sirach 27 and 9. The birds will resort unto their light. Yep. So will truth return unto them that practice in her. Yep. Hey, that wisdom coming back to those that believe, man. And those that didn't know spirits that was disobedient back then, right. and you had too. And the Lord is going to come with, with uh, saying revelation. He's going to come with gifts. You go into that gifts. It's uh, good gifts and bad gifts. Okay. And we read the salvation of the righteous and the destruction of the wicked, roughly paraphrasing. The Lord is going to save his elect and punish the heathens and the rest of you jakes that don't believe that it fought against Zion, talk yeah. shit, scoff the men of the Lord, add unto our bonds, our affliction, and you're gonna burn him, man. That's your judgment. Hey, what's going on? Uh, you said it. That's what, uh, that's what Corinthians said, uh, he gonna judge every man according to his works, whether it be good or evil, man. Like you said, it's a good war and a bad war. The majority gonna get the bad. Yeah. You got something, y'all? What's up? Yeah. Yeah. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 22, verse 11. He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. Mm -hmm. And he which is filthy, let him be filthy still. So and let him let alone, man. I don't know. That, 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 is, that, that is their life, man. Right. They they lie, yeah. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. All right, those that's righteous, they're going to still be righteous still, man. All right, and those that's wicked, man, they're still going to be wicked still, man. Hey. Can't run away from your judgment. That proved reincarnation right there, man. Everybody going to come back in their life. That's what that's it. It. Those who served the Lord back then, they're going to come back doing the same. And do what they did in their past life. Right. This Romans chapter 2 and verse 4, it says, For despisest thou the riches of his goodness, and forbearance, and long suffering." Not knowing that the goodness of the Most High leads thee to repentance, and it's of the Lord's mercies that He have uh, a, a, a allowed us to acknowledge this truth, acknowledge this light, right? It says, verse five, 
but after thy hardness and impenitent heart, treasure up unto thyself wrath against the day of wrath and revelation of the righteous judgment of the Most High. You got Jake's that instead of seeking repentance in these last days, they're adding on, they're uh, piling sin upon sin. You're making the, the Lord more and more angry at you, right? It says verse, it's like, it's Romans 2 and verse 3, 5, but after thy hardness and impenitent heart, treasure up unto thyself wrath against the day of wrath and revelation of the righteous judgment of the Most High, who will render to every man according to his deeds, to who then it's like to them who by patience, continuance, and well-doing seek for glory, honor, and immortality, eternal life, but unto them that are contentious and do not obey the truth, but obey unrighteousness, indignation, and wrath, tribulation, and anguish upon every soul of man that doeth evil, of the Jew first and also of the Gentile, but glory, honor, and peace to every man that worketh good, to the Jew first and also to the Gentile. Point being, those that participate in this labor of love, this well doing, pushing Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai's word in the latter day, that seek for that eternal life, that delivers from the hell, the wrath that the Lord is going to bring, that's earnestly hey, 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 looking for it, that's, that's hoping that that expectation of the Lord, the Lord is going to grant them that eternal life. The Lord is now right to get your work and your labor of love, which you have showed to his saints. But those that are disobedient, they want to argue, want to fight. Y'all ain't the problems. I want to be an Egyptologist. I want to believe in mac, uh, cheese and rice. I want to be a Hispanic. The I'm a Native American. The black woman is God. Guess what? You're going to fucking die, man. Yeah. The wrath of the Heavenly Father is going to be upon you, man. Yeah, You're going right. to burn. And yeah, that Gentile is talking about Israelite foreigners, man. What the brother just read, man. Well, you simple. Facts. Yeah. Yeah. Every man is going to receive their works that they have done on the earth, man. This is book of Revelation 22, verse 12. And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me to give every man a quarter as, he, as his works shall be. And that you people are without excuse. The scriptures say the Lord has sent his prophets rising B times, tell them, do not this abominable thing which, which I, I hate. hate. Hey, hey, the, the prophets, which you see on the highways and byways all around this world, are telling the Lord's people what to do. But for those that don't want to obey and be obedient and listen and actually repent, change their way, become a new creature, hey, you're going to be accountable for the things that you have done. You idolaters, you sorcerers, you adulterers, you murderers, all of you, man. Yeah. Um, hey, hey, except you repent and follow the Lord, man. Yeah. You hey, 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 had the Lord's mercies, man. Receive that deliverance from that wrath. Yeah. I got something. I go. In this Revelation 11, 18, and the nations were angry, and thy wrath is come, and the time of the dead that they should be judged. Oh, so time of the dead. That's all the wicked, man. Mm -hmm. And that thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants, the prophets, yep. and to the saints, yep. and them that fear thy name, small and great. Yep. So the Lord's going to give us a reward. Lord, will we endure and be of that number? The Lord's going to give us a reward. Lord, will we endure and be of that number? And it says, and should have destroyed them which destroyed the earth. Sound like Esau to me. Right, man. Hey, this man destroyed everything that you can possibly imagine, man. The air, the water, the women, your, your family system, your, yourself. You walking on this motherfucking concrete, 20 years old, your back hurting. Your shoulders aching. Your, your neck cracking and shit, man. And it said, um... There's a brother have brought up that wisdom of Solomon 18. Our people are going to get caught up in that destruction with the enemies, but that salvation is synonymous with well. This Revelation, this Revelation chapter 12 and verse 10, and I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, now has come salvation and strength in the kingdom of our God and the power of his anointing for the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our God day and night. Hey, we living in a time where the Lord is going to come back and reward his servants as the brother just read, man. Uh, so, man Esau, even the self-proclaimed white man, and his cohorts, the rest of the nations, and his beast system is going to fall. The Lord is going to cast it down. That's right. It says, verse 11, and they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony, and they loved not their lives unto the death, man. And the victory is already written within the Holy Scriptures. These prophecies are faithful and true. 
nothing's gonna not one jot or jittle, uh, not one jot or uh, tittle or change until all be fulfilled. That's the Lord of our, that's the words of our uh, of Yahweh Shai. It's like in verse uh, hey, so it's gonna happen, man. The, hey, the W is written, man. Hey, he that is going to the end, the same shall be saved. Same. It says verse twelve. Therefore rejoice ye heavens. And he that dwell in them, and then our citizenship is in the heavens. So we're to rejoice when we see the Lord from the bring this destruction. That's right. It says, Woe to the inhabitants of the earth. That's they, and that's two-thirds of our people, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans that don't want to return to your God. You're gonna die here with the white man that you fucking love. That's right. That's right. It says, Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil has come down upon you having great wrath, because he knows that he have but a short time, man. So Esau, Edom, the self-proclaimed white man, the devil, the deceiver of the holy scriptures, right. he gonna come down, he gonna start putting Jake's and Kent's, he gonna come down with that great wrath because he know that the Lord is coming to take his ass out of power, man. Right. Yeah, I wish I said, I seen Satan fall as lightning, man. Right. Soon in our lifetime. Niggas love Walmart so much, you got a room in Walmart <laughs> ready for you niggas, man. Y'all all here. All the world, all the, all the world. Y'all got an all-inclusive trip, paid trip to Wally World. <laughs> it's the book of Isaiah, chapter 34, verse 16. Seeking out of the book of the Lord Yahweh and read, no one of these shall fail, none shall want her mate. For my mouth it have commanded, and his spirit it have gathered them. So, hey, man, hey, the scriptures tell you, see, you got the book of the Lord, man, all right? From so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. And come to real teachers, man. The teacher on the highways of Bible is teaching the true doctrine, man. The true doctrine of your how about shit, man? All right? Because uh, real quick, the Lord said in Jeremiah that he would give you pastors to pass Yep. So we're reading the words of the Lord. You know what I mean? This ain't our own opinion. It's not our own opinion. Come. You know? But you know, all these words are faithful and true, man. And these words will not come back to the Lord void, meaning these words are true, man. And it's happening, man. This is the only living book there is. And hey, the Quran is not going to help you, man. The book of the dead is not going to help you. The book of Egypt is not going to help you, man. All right? On the King James Version of the Bible is going to help you, man. Not even, not even Christianity, I'm sorry. Not even Christianity. Hey, Jesus ain't coming for you niggas, man. Hey, why the fuck would you live for asses in a shit called the Book of the Dead, man? That shit is dumb as hell. The Book of the Dead. The Book of the Dead. But he said, no, no one of these shall fail, man. These prophecies are not failing. Hey, they happy. <laughs> these prophecies are came to pass, are coming to pass, or will come to pass. Point blank, period. The proof is in the pudding, man. You got something. I got something. You got something. You got it. There's Isaiah 55 and 10. For as the rain cometh down and the snow from heaven, and we're turning not thither, so hey, the rain and snow, they don't do U-turns. They don't go back up, man. They go down, and what? But water of the earth, and make it bring forth in bud, that it may give seed to the sower, and bread to the eater. So shall my word be, that goeth forth out of my mouth. So the Lord compared it to his word, that goeth forth out of his mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. And the Lord is to most high. He declared the end from the beginning. The Lord, everything the Lord has set up is going to come to pass, it has come to pass, or it's coming to pass. Point blank period, man. It's not gonna to return to him void. The Lord ain't write these things for no reason. The Lord ain't hide these things out here just, just for us to be fucking saying it, man. It's right. happening. That's right. right. And you, you close your, you ignoring it and uh, shooting the messenger, not gonna make this thing go away. That's right. right. No. Everything still gonna come to pass. And you're gonna get judged for it. Right. The ostrich still get killed by the motherfucking uh, the, the predator. Yeah. Even though he's stick his hand in the ground and don't see it, he still get his. Hey, niggas. Ain't nothing you niggas can do, man. You try to look. Ain't nothing you niggas can do. Try to look for shit to accuse them of. Right. Do somebody, and you can't find that. I just make something up. Slander. Yeah. yeah. That ain't gonna work, man. Lord gonna judge all you fucking with your fucks, man. That's right! The scriptures say they have bear false witness, go, 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 get punished. Don't get, not go walk, you're gonna get punished. See? So you just doing everything to your own hurt, man. The scriptures say. You are a bunch of goddamn delusional morons, man. Stupid! All you damn people, including two third niggas, just delusional idiots. Right. Now we just this uh <clears throat> this Isaiah chapter eight 
in verse 13, it says, Sanctify Yahweh of hosts himself, and let him be a fear, and let him be a dread. The brother read Isaiah 34 and 16, because this is the way out, man. This is the rest, <laughs> wherein you may cause the weary to rest, right? It says, and he shall be for a sanctuary. The book of Ezekiel says the Lord is going to uh, be a little sanctuary among you, man, right? It says, but for a stone of stumbling and for a rock of offense to both the houses of Israel, for a gin and for a snare to the inhabitants of Jerusalem. It says, and many among them shall stumble and fall and be broken and be snared and be taken. Bind up the testimony, seal the law among my disciples, and I will wait upon Yahweh that hideth his face from the house of Jacob, and I will look for him. Behold, I and the children whom Yahweh have given me are for signs and for wonders in Israel, for the Lord of hosts which dwell up in Mount Zion. Yahweh Shai said, um, uh, it would be no sign given you but the sign of Jonah. Jonah. What did Jonah do? He prophesied, man. Every time you see an end of the world or apocalyptic movie, man, you got that one man that got the end of the world sign, right? Guess what? The men of the Lord are the end of the world sign. Jeremiah 28 and 8, right? It says, I will wait upon Yahweh that hideth his face from the house of Jacob, and I will look for him. Behold, I and the children whom Yahweh have given me are for signs and for wonders in Israel from the Lord of hosts which dwell up in Mount Zion, and when they shall see, and when they shall say unto you, seek unto them to have familiar spirits, and unto wizards and beat, it's like wizards that beat, and that mutter, should not a people seek unto their God for the living to the dead? I'm gonna read it in NIV too. It says, when someone tells you to consult medium, mediums and spirits, and that's what our people are doing now. Mm -hmm. They're seeking uh, other ways. You got the people, you got the, you got the black woman leaving the Christian church to mm -hmm. become uh, witches and warlocks, God, no. right? You got them praying to the ancestors, right? But what did the Lord say? When someone tells you to consult mediums and spirits and whisper, it's like who whisper and mutter, should not a people inquire of their God? Why consult the dead on behalf of the living, man? And, that, and the Lord's so cold, man. He said, uh, if I could, he said, uh, that those that uh, trust in vanity shall uh, be their recompense. And their sorrows that hasten after another, their sorrows shall be multiplied that hasten after another God. Those that worship idols, and the Lord said, you're worthy to worship them, man. Because hey, the truth is here, man. The Lord sent the light, this truth, you have a shine. But men love darkness rather than light, lest their deeds shall be reproved. You, you, you uh, neglected the truth. You struck the shoulder. You, I don't want to hear that. Right, right, right. It's all good, man. The Lord gonna judge you, man. But the truth is here. That was all. Matter of fact, if I get verse twenty, it says to the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. I can hit in the NIV, verse 20. Consult God's instruction in the testimony of warning. If anyone does not speak according to this word, they have no light of dawn. You see? So we must be a, a seeking out seeking out the book of the Lord and inquiring of the prophets, man. Utilizing the promise that the Lord sent as an extension of his mercy, man. This is Leviticus 19 and 31. Regard not them that have familiar spirits. Need to seek out the wizards to be defiled by them. I am Yahweh your power. And the scriptures say that you should suffer not a wish to live, man. Hey, these niggas are going to the tarot cards, going to the Ouija boards and shit, man. Hey, and matter of fact, they exalting that shit now. TikTok and all that bullshit. Yeah, that is witch talk. Everything <laughs> that's not the Lord, like man. <laughs> witch talk, man. Hey, and then matter of fact, these niggas in the new generation are charging motherfuckers. Now they now that you got amateur motherfuckers. Amateur fucking uh, uh, witches, man. Amateur warlocks, man. They charge you money to quote unquote read your fortune, man. You're not supposed to go to that shit. Because what? Hey, these niggas are dealing with demons. Bro. These niggas are dealing with complete and utter wickedness. And what? They're following out of their dead, following out the Esau Edom, going in a way that they should not go in. Man. But that's our people. They'll go to any, they'll go to anywhere else but the truth. Because what? Every mountain in hell. Right, every mountain in hell. Because what? As a brother I read, because their deeds are evil. These niggas are, they love wickedness, man. It says in Jeremiah the eighth chapter that death shall be chosen rather than life. And it's talking about, about the Israelites, man. What they choose in their everyday life? Death. Wickedness. That's what promoted. Look at every rap song. 
Go to the hood, look at every nigga counting this man. He ready to put you to death just for a bump into him. And then you say, I'm my bad, bro. I'm sorry. Hey, that nigga ain't trying to hear that shit, man. They got, they got that uh, spirit of disobedience according to the prince of the power. They said, yeah, these yeah. niggas is images of little dirt or King Bond. Uh -huh. He's on that shit. Both crowd go stumble, man. I got some. This Acts 17 and verse 22. Yeah. It says, then Paul stood in the midst of Mars Hill and said he men of Athens, which were Israelites, I perceive that in all things ye are too superstitious. For as I passed by and beheld your devotions, I found an altar with this inscription to the unknown God, whom therefore ye ignorantly worship, him declare unto you, man and hey, the Lord, hey, Jeremiah 3.15, I give you passport of my heart. Hey, the prophecies, the Lord said, I will send you a light to the prophet before that day of the Lord comes. It's going to burn us, you know, as an oven, roughly paraphrasing. You know, hey, 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 Elijah the prophet came back as elder of Abimus, man. You see, and what did he do? Turn the hearts to the fathers, man. So the same thing that they, was happening back then is happening now. The Lord is uh, revealing himself. He's returning unto Jerusalem to his people via the prophets, right? It says, 23, for as I passed by and beheld your devotions, I found an altar with this inscription to the unknown God, whom therefore ye ignorantly worship, him declare I unto you, the Most High that made the world and all things therein, seeing that he is Lord of all heaven and earth, dwelleth not in temples made with hands. The Lord ain't in them, them churches, man. That's right. He ain't in them fake ass sanctuaries, man. That's right. It says, neither is worship with men's hands as though he needed anything, seeing he giveth to all life and breatheth all things. And have made of one blood all nations of men for to dwell on all the face of the earth, and have determined the times before appointed in the bounds of their habitations. The heavenly father, he uh has written Isaiah, he declared the end from the beginning. And the truth say he has to bound and he cannot pass. Hey, we're still in biblical times. The prophecies are still taking place. It says verse 27 that they should seek the Lord. If happily they might feel after him and find him, though he be not far from every one of us, man. And hey, the Lord, hey, hey, he's telling, hey, he's revealing himself to his people. But only the elect is seeking him, man. That's right. It says, for in him, verse 28, for in him we live and move and have our being, as certain also of your own poets have said, for we are also his offspring. For as much then as we are the offspring of the Most High, we ought not to think that the Godhead is like unto gold or silver or stone, graven by art and man's device. To, hey, the Heavenly Father is not worshipped like an idol, man. That's right. The scriptures speak about the invisible God. The Heavenly Father is in spirit. Those that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. That's right. It says, verse 30, in the times of this ignorance, the Most High winked at, but now commanded all men everywhere to repent in times past. Hey, Jacob, oh, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't know. Hey, yes, verily, their sounds have went into all the earth. Hey, Romans the 10th chapter. Right. They've come by hearing and hearing by the word of the Most High. The prophets are set up teaching this word. This ain't coincidental what's happening, man. Prophets all around the earth. This is his watchman shall see eye to eye. Right. Hey, hey. No, no, I'll say it. Hey, uh, the Lord's making it now where there's no quote for your sins. Yep. That's why you accept the of the Lord. Tell you, tell you what you're going off on, man. But now it's no cloak for your weakness. Man. That's right. Now the judgment's gonna come, man. Since you don't want to take me and I was in order before thy eyes. Sec, uh, Acts 17 and verse 30. In the times of this ignorance, the most high winked at. He was like, oh, okay. Right. He let that slide, he let that slide. But now command of all men everywhere to repent. That's to the Israelite. You Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and you speckled bird. The Heavenly Father is telling you, come back to him before he come and destroy America. Bring that fire. Thus saith the Holy Scriptures. Verse 31, because he have appointed a day in the which he will judge the world in righteousness by that man whom he have ordained, Yahweh Shai, whereof he have given assurance unto all men, and they have raised him from the dead. You see? So in the Heavenly Father, hey, it's, hey, it's come back to him for a fucking burn. Get down and lay down. Thus right. saith the, the Holy Scriptures. That's right. 
It's the book of John, chapter 15, verse 22. If I had not come and spoken unto them, and the Lord is speaking right now, all right, we're speaking his words, all right, that they have not seen. Now let me read that again. It's the book of John, chapter 15, verse 22. If I had not come and spoken unto them, they have not had sin. But hey, how does the Lord speak? Real quick. Hosea 12 and 10. I have also spoken by the prophets and have multiplied visions and used senators by the ministry of the prophets. But now they have no cloak for their sins. I'll tell you in Matthew chapter 24, man, verse 14. This, this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come. And this word has been preached around the four corners of the earth, man. So there's no excuse. Now this is to touch on the point y'all made. This Leviticus 19 and 4. Turn ye not unto idols, nor make to yourselves molten gods. I am Yahweh your God. So the Lord's like, don't turn to these idols. Scripture say, what? All the gods of the nation are idols. These fucking uh, heathen have made these false gods up in their mind and then put a statue up, put a whatever up, man, for you to serve them. And Jay go lollygagger to it, man. It says they uh, go after their lovers, man. Have that uh, uh, wicked love to the heathen and serve their gods, man. In fact, serve the heathen themselves, man. You have to serve your God, man. The Lord is the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You Israelites. But what? Two-thirds of the wicked Israelites and you niggas are heathen, man. You niggas are going to get caught up in heathenness and judgment and going to get destroyed. It's the book of Psalms, chapter 115, verse 1. Not, not unto us, O Yahweh, not unto us, but unto thy name give glory for thy mercy and for thy true sake. That's, that's what we, 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 we hope for, man. Hope to get saved, man. You know, so we call upon the name of Yahweh, Shemiel Shai, which we are doing now. You know, when that end comes, man, because only the elect is going to call upon the name of the Lord, Yahweh, and he's going to hear them, man. And you know what? Two thirds, they want to be healed. Until they're in trouble, right, right. they're going to call on the Lord. Right. They're call on that guy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they're calling that guy, man. All right? As soon as some hell get on them, now, now all of a sudden, they went from atheist to Christian. Jesus, help us! Verse 2. Wherefore should be he the say? Where that's is what, now their power? What, that's what, that's the wrong name. If you did know the name, the Lord still ain't gonna hear you because you, it's wicked, man. Right, right. You're in print. Mm -hmm. that, that Luke 6, why call us me, Lord, Lord, and do not the things I say. You call the Lord with, with pork breath, man. With a, a pork duck, breath. With a duck. <laughs> a, a broth of abominable things. Exactly. You say I'm holier Bro. than thou. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Surely I recompense to their bosom. Hey, you say cats. Hey, breast of our cat. Lord, please. <laughs> 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 you got some shrimp between your right. teeth. Right, they ain't even used the toothpick. Hey, these niggas got the bacon wrap shrimp stuffed catfish, man. Damn. It's out of ribs. You know a black woman made that shit up, nigga. Man, I did. Yeah. Bacon bits on top, too, man. Man, yeah, shit, I was talking to the black bitch. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking black woman in Jewel, man, she was asking what some yeah. shit was at. The salmon and shit, she could have told me how she filleted the salmon. I'm oh, okay, man. that sounds good. She said, then I stuffed the bacon in it. I said, I said, God damn. She said, I put the spinach on it. Okay, hey. stuffed the bacon in it. <laughs> All you see is the long ass nigga nails, man. Comparing that Got shit. Got the Edward Scissor hand. Come on, man. man. Edward Scissor hand. Bitch can't even, the bitch gotta change the whole way she use her hands. Cause of these stupid ass fucking nails, man. Yeah, the cum brothers on the tool. Yeah, right. The cum brothers. The man was sick again. I'm not calling. It's back in... It's back in Son chapter 115. Verse 3. But our power is in the heavens. He has done whatsoever he pleased. The Lord's gonna do whatever he pleased, man. Alright? You can't stop it. Verse 4, the Lord ain't going to stop it. The Lord's going to do what he says he's going to do, man. You don't move the Lord by not believing. The Lord don't give a shit. That's right. Verse 4, the idols are silver and gold, the work of man's hands. It's like the brother say, you know, the Lord, the Lord is not praised with man's hands, all right? Verse 5, they have mouths, but they speak not. Eyes have they, but they see not. They go to these idols.
mouths, man. Having mouths, you know, but they can't talk, all right? You know, eyes that they cannot see not, man. Verse 6, they have ears, but they hear not. Nose have they, but they smell not. Smell not. That's plain. Verse 7, they have hands, but they handle not. Feet have they, but they walk not. Neither speak they through their throat. Verse 8, they that make them are like unto them, so it's everyone that trusts them in them. So you're dead, man. All right, you're lifeless. All right, it's only one true living power. That's your how about Shemel Shai, man. And he's only for the Israelites, man. Starting with the elect. All right? Uh, real quick, Psalms 96 and 5, for all the gods of the nations are idols, but the Lord Yahweh made the heavens. This wisdom of Solomon 15 and verse 4, for neither did the mischievous invention of men deceive us, nor an image spotted with diverse colors, the painter's fruitless labor, the sight whereof entice the fools to lust after it, and, and so they desire the form of a dead image that have no breath, both they that make them and they that desire them and they that worship them are lovers of evil things and are worthy to have such things to trust upon. Ain't playing, man. All you people that are idolaters, man, you want to rear up St. Kevin? You want to get <laughs> down and, and, and bound to uh, all these other idols, man? It's all good. The sight and Tyson fool is your damn fool. Hey, what's up on the 13th chapter? It says, seeing all this beautifulness, Romans, the first chapter, the circuit of stars, they accredited to a, they accredited to false gods, man. Right, but hey, right. through the beauty of the uh, creation, the author, it's like, if I can grab it really God, quick. God. See, my auntie talking about some, man, I woke up this morning, I thanked the sun, God. Then the sun shut up. Hey, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> oh, my goodness. She said, it was so bright, I thanked the sun, God. Right there and the man, slap the fuck out the of fuck? <laughs> Wisdom of Solomon chapter 13 and verse 1. Truly vain are all men by nature who are ignorant of the Most High and could not out of the good things that are seen known him that is, neither by considering the works that they acknowledge the work master. It says, but deem either fire or wind or the swift air or the circle, circle of the stars or the violent water or the lights of heaven to be the gods which govern the world with whose beauty, if they being delighted, took them to be gods, let them know how much better the Lord of them is for the first author of beauty have created them, man. Hey, you people worship your creation. Hey, wouldn't you worship he that created it? You know, you gotta get that glory back to the Heavenly Father, man. It says, but if they were astonished at their power and virtue, let them understand by them how much mightier, mightier he is that made them, for by the greatness and beauty of the creatures, proportionally the maker of them is seen, man. But we know that he is, that Yahweh is, and through his beautiful creation, man, how it works. The synergy, man. Hey, hallelujah. Yeah, yeah. It's the book of Romans, chapter 1, verse 25. Who changed the truth of the Most High into a lie and worship and serve the creature? More than the Creator, who is blessed forever, Amen. So you know, so you know, hey, the Lord's gonna kill you, man, for serving these other powers, man, these other deities, man, which is not Him, all right? Like you celebrate these holidays, all right? These holidays, these holidays goes back to what idol worship, man. You serving other deities, man, all right? And one of the first, and one of the first commandments in the Bible is not to serve other deities, man. Don't have no other deities. For him, man. First yeah, how about shot? One of the first, yeah. Cause he's a jealous power. Boy, he's a jealous power, man. Yeah. All right. I got another. Book of Judges, chapter ten. It's the Book of Judges, chapter ten, verse thirteen. I'm at, allow me to start at twelve. The Zidonians also, and the Amalekites, and the, the Maronites, did oppress you, and ye cried to me, and I delivered you out of their hands. So, you know, you can read the scriptures, okay? All right, every time we went to captivity, what the Lord do, man, you know, when we called upon them, man, and we turned back to them. He got us out of that jail, man. He got us out of captivity. Verse 13, yet ye have forsaken me, and serve other powers. 
Well, of course, I wouldn't deliver you no more. And, and, and you know, and by, and by the Lord putting us in this captivity, hey, he cut us, you know, he, he didn't cut us off of being a nation, but you know, he, you know, he, he put us in captivity and how much forget who we are, man, and forget who he was, man. All right? By serving these others, these other these other nations, man, and they out of islands, all right? Let's continue from my heritage. Right. That's that Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 4, man. Yep. Verse 4. You know, and to you people who still serve these other powers, man, and you got the man of the Lord right in front of you, and the Lord is having his hand stretched out, man. To you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Americans, this is what you got to do, man. All right? Come back to your house by Shema or this is going to happen to you. It's the book of Judges, chapter 10, verse 14. Go and cry unto the powers which ye have chosen. Let them deliver you in the time of your tribulation. And the scriptures say a time like never before is going to happen, man. And the Lord said, hey, go and cry to those guys that you have chosen because he's a jealous God. If I can hear this for you. This Exodus 20 and verse 1. And the Most High spake all these words, saying, I am Yahweh thy power, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt and out of the house of bondage. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them nor serve them. For I am Yahweh thy power and a jealous power visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. So the Lord already gave straight commandment of what to do to avoid judgment. Don't worship nothing else but Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. But since you need it, go and cry to them. When the Lord prays a time like never before, when when men, when, when, when neighbors rising up against neighbor, when niggas is kicking doors, when you can't call 911, when the devil come in like a flood, go and cry to Cesare Borgia. Go and cry to Allah. Go and cry to Shabish and all them weird ass uh, gods, man. Yeah. And see if they deliver your punk ass, man. That's why the Lord said, Ye have not as it were forsaken me, but your own self. The Lord said, You forsake yourself. It's like when you get knocked out, then the referee step in the fight, you get up and push the referee. Nigga, you just got knocked the fuck out. You, man, nigga, helping you. Because we need the Lord, man. Yep. The Lord don't need us. We need the Lord. And hey, hey, the things that the Lord is going to do on this planet, man. This is the mighty man shall cry there bitterly, man. Hey, we, hey, we need to be saved, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Man, you know? yeah. It's a time like never before, man. It, the whole earth is going to reel to and fro, man. You need that aerial view, say, oh, y'all can speak song. You need to be off the planet, man. You need to be beamed up in chariots and, and, and changed and saved, man. Or you're going to get destroyed. This is Zechariah 7 and 11. This is what Jake do, man. As it says in 2 Chronicles 36 chapter, they misuse the prophets, mock the messengers, man. They talk all that shit. Until what? Their wrath comes. And then they, where they was at? And now they want to uh, uh, try to pseudo repent, man, because they did it a fourth time. Pseudo repent. Zechariah 7 and 11, but they refused to mark it and pull it away the shoulder. It's like a nigga like, tell you, see? Pull the motherfucking shoulder. And he dies, fuck you. You know? It says, <laughs> And stop the, stopped their ears that they should not hear. So now they don't they don't want to hear it, man. And people do that continually, man. They keep walking on. And what? The simple, they go pass on to get punished, man. These niggas go keep walking on and keep keep going. But that destruction is still coming. The elder will bring it out, man. That, that destruction, them plagues, that judgment is still coming. The Lord is still gonna destroy America. The Lord is still gonna destroy all the wicked of his people, all the sinners of his people gonna die by the sword. Why right? didn't they believe it? Whether nigga think it's true or not. Read it and weep, nigga. God, no. <laughs> book hey, should that, it's like, if I quote Romans 3 and 3, so, uh, what up, son, do not believe? Should that make the faith of the most high without effect? Roughly paraphrasing, God forbid, man. Hey, hey all those, uh, 2nd Corinthians 15, it says, the, uh, all on faith, we should die in their faith. Plain, man. You don't believe? Okay, that's, hey, shit. If thou Ooh. scornest, God, hey, if thou, hey, hey, if thou be wise, they'll be wise for thyself. But if thou scornest, thou alone shall bear it. Mm -hmm. This is the book of 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 3. For the time will come when they would not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lesson shall they heat to themselves. Teachers having itchy ears. They don't want to hear the word, man. They don't want to hear the truth, man. 
They, they, they want to hear lies, man. They want to hear the smooth things. Exactly. All right? They want to hear the seats, man. All right? They want to hear fucking fairy tales, man. All right? They want to hear about a, a blonde haired blue eyed guy come down upon a fucking rainbow with Skittles, man. And, and talking about some, hey, hey, man, you commit adultery, man. I still love you, man. You are, you are mo. I still love you, man. They want that come as you, come as you are, doctor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They want, Jake, Jake, Jake don't want you to tell them that they off the wrong. They don't want you to Second Timothy yep. chapter four <laughs> verse four, and they shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned into fables. All right, that, that's that's plain right there, man. You know, I, I, I people want to hear lies, man. You know, they want to hear fairy tales, all right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Smooth things, man. Yeah. All right. Whole life, whole life fucked up. But just talk to me nice. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, so he, he, he saw his own, he, he's okay because he he, lied, he gives me lights to the sin. Right, right. He don't care if I commit adultery. He don't care if I eat catfish. Fuck out of here. He don't care if I eat shit to him. Man, that shit dirty. That shit dirty as hell. Like anything else? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I got the Isaiah 30 and 9. It says 30 and 8. Now go, write it before them in a table and note it in a book that it may be for the time to come forever and ever, that this is a rebellious people, lying children, children that will not hear the law of the Lord. The scriptures describe my people as the one that strive with the priest. Yep. You tell a nigga, hey, bro, you a king, you know, if you repent, you gotta stop doing this, gotta stop doing that. And then they tell you, as they, the nigga said last week, all right, hey, y'all niggas up. You get a nigga sound doctrine, bro. You get a nigga good tidings, you give him a good news, you tell him he a God and right. Heavenly Father loves you, and he rewards you evil. Right, right. <laughs> like, damn. Verse 10, we say to the seers, see not, and to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things, speak unto us smooth things, prophesy deceits. Don't tell hey. us that the Lord is coming back. That's Don't right. tell us that America is getting destroyed. Don't tell us that we need to clean up our ways so we can do better for ourselves. Tell me that shit I want to hear. I want to turn on that little dirt. Hey, go get that catfish. On, go, go, let's go commit adultery. Let's go shoot some niggas, man. Hey, yeah. we killing ourselves. But don't tell us we dying. Mm -hmm. Tell us that it's good for us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> tell us it's feeding our soul. Mm -hmm. Ignorance blitz. Mm -hmm. How you niggas move, man. Yep. Yeah. 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 Just a bunch of damn jokes, man. That's why Lord will get rid of your ass. Mm -hmm. The scriptures describe it. Say we have, it say Jake is optional. They got iron sinews around their neck. Jake mm -hmm. ain't. That nigga ain't turning at all. He got that motherfucker. Give a bird's neck, boy. This shit, <laughs> this shit is better to him. Right. It's stubborn. <laughs> man, Jake is stubborn as all hell, man. Yup. I know, they come back to where the lake is, and then you shake it. Right. Man. Ew. I got something real quick. <laughs> Their sorrow shall be multiplied, that hasten after another God. Their drink offerings of blood will I not offer, nor take up their names into my lips. Yahweh is the portion of my inheritance and of my cup. Thou maintainest my lot. So, hey, is it you come back to the Lord or not? You come back to life, health, hey, 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 to the, hey, to the mercy of the Heavenly Father, or, or sorrow, wrath, indignation, man. Right, man. Nah, brother got one there with us. Nah. Read. Read on. Continue. Preach. Keep reading. Y'all, what's up? Got something. 
brother, hey, two brothers got it's the book of Ezekiel chapter 3 verse 17 Son of man I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel Therefore hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me So that goes sure that the Lord is speaking through his men You know, since the world, and he has been doing that since the world began Alright, and we're doing it right now Tell these so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans who struck the birds around the four corners of the earth to repent Yes, sir, right. and, and you know, it, it said, tell them just so the ones that uh, uh, despise the word, Lord have reason to bring judgment on their ass. That's all it is. That's all it is. That's right. That trap. Yeah. Gin. But they, they was born in vain, man. Hey, because you niggas not going to be able to say that you wasn't born, that you didn't know, like the elder brought out earlier, man. There ain't going to be nowhere to hide behind, man. You're not going to be able to say that the Lord wasn't there. And that's one thing that you niggas like to reach out and hold on to. Right now when you complain, well, why the Lord do this and why the Lord do that? That's not fair, this not fair. But you niggas got a fair opportunity right now. And the Lord said to Isaiah, he said, uh, Isaiah, he said, uh, I stretched out my hand and no man regarded it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Proverbs. Now I said Isaiah too, Isaiah what, 16? Huh? I said he stretched out his hand and no man regarded all, all day to a game this yeah, yeah. You can read it from me. It's Isaiah 65 and 1. I am sought of them that ask not for me. I am, I am found of them that saw me not. I said, Behold me, behold me unto the nation that was not called by my name. I have spread out my hands all the day unto a rebellious people, yep. which walked up in a way that was not good yep. after their own thoughts. Mm -hmm. And people that provoke me to anger continually to my face, yep. that sacrifice of gardens and burn of incense unto altars of brick. Uh huh. And you, Jake, still do that to this day, man. That's right. Here it is, the truth is out here, man, but you still want to go back to them fucking groves, man. Come on, you man. You want to go hooking and boogling of an, and the, 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 the uh, monuments of failure. Yeah. Niggas celebrating Ramadan, man. Wicked as fuck, man. Hey, meanwhile, the prophets are on the highways and byways that the Lord commanded us. Hey, being fishermen of men. Mm, but you on. niggas is over there in them groves going clean the fuck off. That's right, right man. That's right. And and, and, if he, and see, and I ain't looking down on nobody because I started off like this. I'm sure most of us did. But you niggas at the house smoking weed, watching the videos, thinking it's funny. And for those of you that think it's a fucking joke, man, and you don't decide to come and start working, you're going to have a problem, man. Mm -hmm. And the Lord, hey, yeah, yeah. Faith without works is dead. You got to get it. Hey, have you said uh, he, uh, that I ran when I read it? You got to put that work in. That's right, man. Because the Lord, the Lord not trimming his ways for you niggas, man. It's one way or no way. And, and, and Jake going to learn that shit the hard way, man. Blesses the servant who when his Lord come back is uh, found so doing. Work That's right. labor, man. Mm -hmm. You know? I bring Stephen with this song. Uh, I'm going to start at 6810. A congregation of dope therein. Thou, O Yahweh, has prepared of thy goodness for the poor. The Lord gave the word. Great was the company of those that published it, man. Mm -hmm. And that's all we're out here doing, man. We're declaring the word of the Lord right here, man. Right. These highways and byways. He said in Isaiah, uh, the, uh, the feet blesses the feet of those that publish the good tidings of peace, man. And we out here with the good news, this gospel, man. Hey, hey, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you have a God. That's and right. he's coming to save his people, man. That's but his right. people ain't going to be calling themselves Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. They're going to be calling themselves he Prince of the Power, Yasha Allah, man. That's right. From their respective tribes, man. That's right. And he's saying to the cities of uh, Judah and Jerusalem, Behold, your God is going to come with a record this, and he'll save you, man. That's right. That's the good news, man. We're proclaiming it. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah. That's right. right. The scripture that the brother brought out, that's a cut to, oh yeah, that's the it's the so it's the white man's book, alright? Hey, the, the, the man that wrote it published it, man. Meaning they wrote it and, and they put it out there, man. Yeah. Alright? Come on, man. Hey, Plain and simple. Hey, the great man fight. <laughs> exactly. Bro. Hey, what the hell you talking about? Man? Uh, uh, any, any, any excuse not to believe in truth. That's all it boils down to it. That's it, that's it. And any other doctrine you niggas subscribe to, a white man gave you that shit. Stupid. Yeah. Egyptology was made up by a fucking white man. Two Stupid. small hands. Stupid. All this shit you niggas come up with. Being a nigga was created by a white man. Stupid. Yep. Stupid eight. Niggas listening to all these rap niggas. It's a white man writing everything they do. Right. Stupid apes, goofball, 
Hey, I was looking at the nigga Future song, bro. I was looking at the bottom of it, bro. The nigga got like six different writers on there, man. And they small hats, man. Come on, man. Same thing with them, uh, with them NWA niggas, man. Shit ain't and no like joke. up in a stoop with Future and uh, <laughs> in the <laughs> in like soap. Doing some complete sorcery, man, to say you fucking Jake Soft, man, right. you listen to it. That's it, man. That's it, man, dummy. Yeah, Esau got their arm. I'm tired, nigga. Man. You don't want to create the monster, man. That's right. Mm -hmm. You endorse it. You got yeah. Lure Coin. All you fucking small hats in the music industry that push that demonic ass vibration on our okay. team, man. That's okay. The Lord is going to hold you responsible for it, too, man. That's right. Yeah. I got one. It's the book of Proverbs, chapter 12, verse 26. The righteous is more excellent than his neighbor. But the way of the wicked seduce of them. So Esau is, is promoting our people and writing songs for these damn rap artists to seduce our people to going off, man. That's right. And telling them exactly, hey, you, the bound he can go to and where he can't do, man. And you know what the killer part is? You niggas know it's wicked and you don't give a fuck. And that's okay. Continue on in your shit, man. Well, guess what? Go ahead and give a fuck about delivering your ass. That's right. That's right. Hey, and I don't give a fuck either, man. I hope he kill all of you niggas, man. Good. I hope he kill all of you niggas, man. Because this shit is tired, man. Hey, well, back you up. We had to mind the Lord, man. You know? So the Lord don't give a fuck. You don't give a fuck either. Hey, script. Hey, King, King, King David say, do not I hate them, oh Lord, that hate thee? Perfect answer. Yeah. Hey, you got to think about it, man. Hey, the elder, uh, the elder out there in uh, Hawaii, I forget his name, but he's going to do it, man. Hey, our people, the scripture said they are willingly ignorant. Uh, and here uh, it is, you got a, our family, that's why it's family and so forth, and the people that we go and talk to, you have living examples of repentance in your face. That's right. Every day. That's right. And you you fail to acknowledge it and, and believe, man. That's right. So you think the Lord ain't upset? And you think the Lord ain't ready to destroy you niggas, man? Hey. hey most ninth chapter says the, the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which say the Lord will not do good or evil. That's yeah. right. And show you, Jake know what's right and wrong, man. The shit that's wicked, they, they be secretive with. That's to right. show you right. know it's right. off, man. That's right. You know? That's right, man. And, and like the brother said, that the elder in Hawaii, I think his name is Gabari Howard. Mm -hmm. These people got examples. They know what's right and wrong. And the scriptures say that those that know gonna get many stripes. You niggas gonna be way worse off than somebody who didn't go around somebody that that, that Lord willing was of the elect and, and told them what they need to do. All you people got that same spirit that all them people had when Yahweh Shai went around his people. And they didn't they, and they didn't have no respect for him, man. They didn't receive it. Cause, man. It, Cause it was Yahweh Shai. Oh, it's just little Yahweh Shai. He ain't it's the same little kid from back in the day. That's how these niggas move, right, man. Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The people you know will be glad to listen to you. Cause they knew you the whole life, man. That's right. right. I changed your diaper, nigga. What you yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, 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 you think this. Now you don't eat it no more? Right. You niggas gonna be sick, man, because Lord willing, we are that number. I'm not reaching out for none of you niggas when the Lord come to kill motherfuckers, man. Yeah, I'm reaching out for that sword. And, and, and I hope, because and, and through the Spirit, this ain't nothing that I, that, that's doctrine or nothing, but just as a man, man, I hope through the Spirit that all these niggas that scoff and talk shit, that the Lord let us get them for, for him personally, man. All these personal individuals in your life that thought they was on something, man. I hope that the Lord allowed you to deal with them niggas, man. This shit is ridiculous, man. You reach your hand out and you try to help a nigga that's living his life fucked up. And all these niggas do is complain, man. These niggas will call you, come around you and complain. You'd have been told them what they need to do already. But they just want to call you and get the free knowledge, man. Yeah. But don't want to do no fucking work, man. Well, Fuck you niggas, well, man. You, well, you know you had a brother who was like, oh, damn, man. You know, you know, I, 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 I put, you know, called on the Lord to put curses on this nigga, you no. Know, brother had a problem with, the Lord ain't doing that. Like, well, uh, you gotta think of it. The Lord might be saving him, preserving him for you to deal with his ass. Man. That's right. That's right. And they fuck him up. Yeah, right, don't man. See. That's right. Cause all these niggas suffering, man. But you people gonna learn, man. Cause you think this is just a well you can go to whenever you want. And you ain't gotta put in no work, man. Yeah. There's a lot of niggas in my life. Every time these niggas got a fucking problem, they call me asking for the answers, man. Hey, the scriptures say, ever learn it, but never come into the knowledge of the truth. Yeah. Niggas just want to gain all this knowledge. Don't want to apply it. Don't want to come up the right way.
Sound like they came up with it. They want to. Oh, it sounds nice. Like, uh, they got that Edomite spirit. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna let him make the invention, and then, and then I'm gonna take the invention, and I'll get all the money and shit. That's the same spirit you niggas got. Oh, I'm gonna let him go outside and read. I'm gonna let him do the work, and then when I got a problem, I'm gonna call him, and he can just give me the quick answer. Yeah, yeah. Well, Fuck you, niggas, well, man. Well, 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 how shot that? Yeah, you're, you're falling down. Y'all are some spiritual kings. Right. You, you that nigga from Minnesota society. You two thirds are kings. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> you you can't. You want a cheeseburger? Yeah. Nigga. Ass niggas, man. <laughs> it's John chapter 10 and verse 1. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that entereth not by the door into the sheepfold, but climbeth up another, uh, some other way, the same as a thief and a robber. Yeah, I understand. Pastor Boss said it years ago, yeah. you know, when he first on YouTube, he's like, man, Brothers, be the truth long enough. You're gonna hate niggas more than That's anybody right. else on earth. That's right. That's right. Hey, cause you start to understand, and it's saying in the scriptures, man. These heathens, if it was actually for them to do this, they'll all be doing it, man. With no saying? problem, man. Yeah. You got some already. Thank the Lord, dealing with them doing it, man. You know they, they, want, they do it. <laughs> Fervently, man. These motherfuckers be fervent about it. But 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 you telling Jake what it is. And they want to just sit, but we'll just let him do all the work. It's like the Elder Malcolm was saying, he, 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 he was talking to one of his people he grew up with, and he told them what they had to do and what was coming. And, and, and all these niggas heard was, oh, you, so you say we're going to go into the kingdom either way? Well, shit, let's just keep being wicked since we're going to be in the kingdom anyway. That's how you niggas moving, man. But little do you know, man, it's death, despair, and pain coming for you, man. Ezekiel chapter 33 verse 31 and they come unto thee as the people coming and they sit before thee as my people and they hear thy words but they will not do them but they will not do them for with their mouth they shoot much love but their heart goes after their covetousness so I people to do what the hell they want to do they hear this they come here you know listen to the word you have those that come and listen to this word and, and and go after their own lust, man. After their own their own crap, man. Keep doing what y'all doing, bro. That's what's up. <laughs> <laughs> so, man, that's some job by Niggas going home. Listen, right. li niggas listening to 19 keys and shit, man. Nigga hit you with this forearm, motherfucker. Jack Rip, boy. I'm on the horn, man. Y'all keep doing. Come on, man. I believe you. Now let me put the window up and play this pop. And smoke this weed, nigga. Fuck you, niggas, man. Verse 32, and lo, thou art unto them as a very lovely son. Damn, he can break the scriptures down, man. He got it all the way. Yeah, he good. That's man. it, man. Damn, it sound good. Hey. Kingdom, heaven, right. rulership, yeah. And look at this. They look at this. They look at this as entertainment. They, they right there, you know, on YouTube, watching the brothers, and they smoking the books. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, fuck the white man, man. It's, you know? It's, it sounds good. Well, guess what? That's what that, that nuclear missile will be saying. <laughs> say, when you ain't gonna have to worry about smoking no blood. Right. You don't have you to be worried smoke. about the Lord smoking your ass, right. nigga. Hey, that's terrible without you, bro. Look, man, that shit sure. ain't no joke, man. And, and you know, it, like I said, I ain't, I ain't gonna talk down on nobody because that's how I started off listening to the video, smoking my little weed and shit. But it's a step after that, man. Yeah, him that knows to do good and do it for not is sin, you know. Well, at least uh, you know, I'll say this, at least. Uh, you put forth the effort, man. That's right. What you say about you whole ass nigga. Cause there's one thing about you, Jake's man, and even with 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 the certain individuals that I've seen in my short time in the truth that have fallen out, Jake think that all they gotta do is get the knowledge and they gonna be all right. But if the Lord not with you, nigga, you not gonna make it. I don't give a fuck what you think you know. Yeah. And that's one thing you niggas gotta figure out, man. But see, that's the spirit Jake be in. Jake just wanna take shortcuts and. Well, I'll just let him figure it out, and I'll listen. But I'm not gonna do nothing. I'm gonna just listen, and, and, and then when I know the time is right, I'll do it. No, nah, man, because it's gonna come at it like a thief in the night. It's gonna come and get you. Look at that, fired up. Hi. It's the book of Ezekiel, chapter 33, verse 32 again. And lo, thou art unto them as a very lovely son of one that have a pleasant voice and can play well on an instrument, for they hear thy words, but they do them not. Hey, right, right. Big ass smile on that shit. No, keep working for warriors, man. <laughs> well, they motherfucking fingers fat as hell, boy. They hit every, yeah. every key. Hey, but, you know, but, but you know what? <laughs> but you know what? It's all good. Because yeah. it may got you that much better, man. Good. Uh, just go ahead and just keep, see, 
niggas be the niggas, man. Right. I, I want to be delivered. That's Boy right. Willa, he find me worthy enough. Man. That's right. That's right. Verse 33, when this cometh to pass, lo, it will come. Then shall they know that a prophet has been among them. And it says in 2nd Andrew 16, your own sins shall be the accusers in that day, man. The simple walk of one is not punished, man. That's right. Hey, you ignored the men of the Lord. Hey, 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 you're going to receive a judgment for that, man. You didn't take heed to the Lord's warning, his admonishment. Being a prophet of the Lord, you laughed on the sword. You said, fuck it, you X, Y, and Z. You're going to bear it, man. Hey, hey, you know, you know, you said, you got your seed. You know, like he plays, right? And the Lord's gonna show you that you just the prophets, man. All right? And, and he gonna make you feel every burn, man. So right. you be burning and gnashing the teeth coming to America, man. And you people that's gonna be on this damn soil, man. And around the four corners of the earth, man, but mainly here in America. All right? Throw nuclear fire and that concentrated fire, that laser beam from the chariots that the Lord's about to bring, man. That's right. He really want that, man. All right? To help you out of nations, man. Fuck you, all right? But to you other nations, man, but to you Israelites, man, we warning you, man. Straight up. That's right, right, right. man. That's right. Like not as I can say, these niggas got that spirit of, you know, you in school and shit. As soon as that group of salmon come, you know that one nigga that ain't yeah, gonna do no work. shit, man. <laughs> but he gonna get an A, and you ain't getting an A this time. Ain't none of that shit going on, man, because everybody gonna be accounted for their own doings. Ain't gonna be no uh, hitching your ride and hitching your wagon on somebody else's back, man. Right, no shortcuts. This ain't no fucking basketball game, nigga, where you can get one rebound and you still win the game because everybody else hustling. Ain't none of that shit, man. Right, right. You ain't did shit and you still get a ring. Right. You was injured the whole year. Come on, man. <laughs> ain't nothing. There's no whole lot. Nigga get, nigga get traded halfway through the season, still but get a they ring. still give him a ring. What ain't none of that shit, man. Uh, what's that? Uh, I believe it's uh, the right thing says, uh, man's work should be tried. Uh, you gotta be good or something. I got you, I got you. I think it's 10. Very good. Like the brother said, every man, they own work. These, you gotta be out there. I got one for that, too. This, 1 Corinthians 3 and verse 11, I'll start at 10. I'll start at nine. Read. We are laborers together with the Most High. Ye are the Most High's husbandry. Ye are the Most High's building. According to the grace of the Most High, which is given unto me as a wise master builder, I have laid the foundation and another build of their own. But let every man take heed how he build of their own. What is the foundation? For other foundation can no man lay than that that is laid, which is Yahweh Shahamashiach. It says, now if any man build upon this foundation, gold, silver, precious stones, wood, hay, stubble, every man's work shall be made manifest, for the day shall declare it, because it shall be revealed by fire, and the fire shall try every man's work, what sort it is. If any man's work abide which he have built thereon, he shall receive reward. Hey, and that's the, uh, that's the elect, you see? It says, if any man's work shall be burnt up, he shall suffer loss, but he himself shall be saved, yet so as by fire. And that's a, a, a dark a, a dark saying in the scriptures. Those that, hey, going back to that Romans, the second chapter, those who have that uh, good works and well doing, hey, they're going to receive that reward, that salvation. But for those who were burnt up, had no good works laid to the heavenly Father, hey, fire, you won't burn. That's right. You see? That was cool. Mr. Book of Proverbs, chapter 1, verse 31. Therefore shall they eat be fruit of their own way. I read this yesterday. Oh yeah. <laughs> they be filled with their own devices, all right? Land back off what the brother was brought out, man, all right? You can judge according to your works your everyday life, man, all right? When you're not around the brothers, all right? Hey, really, you reading, you studying, preach this word, man, and do what is required of you, all right? But if you don't do what's required of you, ain't that fire coming, man, all right? You be put inside of it, man, all right? Hey, so with that, Lord Willem, hopefully this was edifying. You would like to say, call the lawyer block. Yeah, how about shut? Yo, shut, but shut, but cock with us. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who have taught us this truth and do rule well. 
peace and salutation to the hopefully elect. Shout out and a bum bum bum! A bum bum bum! Yashallah. 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 Yashallah.